It, uh, it's possible, or it's a learning experience. It took a fucking <laughs> failure to get us to fix that. Mm-hmm. So maybe this is finally getting a kick in the ass to fix that. Maybe. We're getting better all the time. That's what I like to tell myself. Welcome back to the Buffalo Game Space Podcast, episode 50, the big 5-0. We are recording on March 17th, 2017, so it's St. Paddy's Day here. I am your host, Pat Kesterson. Doug May. Greg Giles. Kendall Preem. And this is Gr- Doug's, I won't say Greg's. <laughs> this is Greg's first podcast. Yeah, Wait, it is. No, it is my first podcast. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm Greg Giles. <laughs> So, uh, welcome to the space. Great. You know, you definitely uh, haven't hosted this so podcast you, a lot before. Good job. So, I got a game you guys probably haven't talked about. Let's talk about Overwatch. Before we get to a game, can we just <laughs> acknowledge that Pat said the correct number this week? Said <laughs> the <correct> <laughs> you called uh, the one that you and I did 48. Okay, I fuck up <laughs> one time. <laughs> <laughs> one time. He still got to get that out of the system. Week it's and now every week it's like, wow, you do it every single week wrong. Except for <laughs> that all the other times this that you did it right. <laughs> this is why I just don't say it. <laughs> at all. This is, this is why Greg, Greg doesn't host anymore. Yeah. Anyway, you wanted to talk about uh, Overwatch? We want to go straight to the news. Or are you just being a... Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, uh, I didn't wear my Overwatch shirt this week for Kendall, so... <laughs> Sorry. It's all so good. the Buffalo this Game Space Overwatch podcast. This is the Overwatch uh, You know, cast. I'm just such a fan. Starring Kendall. <laughs> so Kendall, I can tell you so many things about the game. <laughs> so <laughs> moving... I think it what was that Tom who said, like, he's never touched a game, but he knew all the characters. Mm, yeah. 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 Maybe. <laughs> just I mean, I knew a lot about the game before I, st- I really I'm dug into sure it. I'm pretty sure everybody did. Yeah. That was a game that was just so everywhere to the point where you it didn't matter. Oh, they won... Uh, and they won Game of the Year at the Game Developer's Choice Award. They won Game of the Year everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway... So, starting with BGS news, getting this shit out of the way first. Uh, workshop series. It's all, uh, it's already started. I think what is it? Three or four now? We've I gone through. Yeah. Um, this, uh, yeah, this is probably our fourth or fifth. Yeah. Fourth or fifth. So I haven't gotten too far deep into it, but if you'd like to learn a little bit about how to design a game or. Or how to uh, even just like understand the process. Okay, I see Greg was already, already staring over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching you. I'm watching somebody play the division. It's great. I wish. But anyways, these workshops. Yeah. Yeah. If these you workshops are if super you notice cool. that the pixel art workshop had already passed, and you're like, oh dang, I wanted to take that. It's actually being rescheduled because of these. For you. Yeah. You. Just for you, sir, Steve. <laughs> you. Steve. <laughs> um. So. If you are interested in getting all the workshops, uh, like some of the examples being next week is going to be Intro to Garage Band, uh, which will be taught by our very own Tyson. Uh, he's excellent uh, at the job. And then after that, we got a three-part uh, Intro to Blender series. Uh, so That's want- always good. That's taught by uh, Brent Patterson, who's a, a professor at local college, Buffalo State. He always comes in. And this is not... This is like... Probably the third time he's taught that series, so we've worked out a lot of kinks in it, and it's a three-parter, and honestly, it's, in my opinion, one of the most useful workshop classes we teach ever. It's uh, nobody very, knows, very, very good. Nobody yeah. knows anything about 3D modeling, I've noticed. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. As, a, as a modeler... It's always a really it's, well-attended it's, it's class, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's very fast-paced, but if you pay attention, and hopefully your computer doesn't decide to and just you fuck you over. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really, really, really fun. Yeah. So... If any of that intrigues you, you can get all the workshops, the season pass, plus bronze tier membership for just two hundred and forty dollars. I can't remember what the classes are individually. Uh, I mean, so if, if cov- the upcoming ones we've covered, we've got I can't be off the top of my head. You put me on the spot, and I'm freezing. <laughs> I Damn know. it! But uh, if you just want like individual classes, you take a look at the schedule and you see you just want to go to Blender, but you don't give a damn about pixel art. Well. You can just go to those as well. Uh, they'll just be at a different price. But if you want all of them, it's still $240. And while Greg's looking at that, I will continue with the culmination of the workshop and hopefully just uh, game uh, companies from across western New York, Buffalo, and I think R- Rochester. I think we even have some Canadian ones coming, potentially. That'd be cool. I, I know nothing. Wait, so what are you <laughs> asking me? <laughs> He's uh, asking I'm not asking. I was, uh, <laughs> but uh, for the spring showcase... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On oh, May man, 13th. Yeah. So if you wanted to make a game from what you learned from the workshop, or if you already have a game that you're wanting to show off to a, a group of people, 
Come on down on May 13th. We will be setting everything up here. Uh, we got 10 so far, and yeah. it's not even... Like it's still it's shaping more. up really well, actually. Uh, we're gonna have people from all over northeastern <laughs> United States, basically. Uh, probably people from coming out from Columbus, Rochester, mm-hmm. um, Philadelphia, all kinds of places. So it, it's gonna. It's one of. I think that is our biggest event of the year, right? Potentially, so maybe enough, yeah. that or. Uh, I mean, yeah, that or our Halloween party. But our Halloween well, party is yeah, exactly. our Halloween party that's is really the that's biggest. That's a different like, piece. Exactly. <laughs> that's when Pat puts on makeup, and nobody wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that sh- that seriously took a day to get out. I, I, I missed it. What were you? I was Batman, but I put yeah. the uh, the black Ooh. liner on. That that's hard to get out. Is that yeah. why you still have that on your face? I've yeah, always wondered. It's still, <laughs> 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 it's still there. I actually am just cosplaying quiet now. Um, <laughs> I just assume you hadn't showered since October. Well, that, I mean, that, that, that explains the smell. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, that, that, that's me. I don't leave this room. <laughs> like, you guys finish recording and leave, and I, ju- I just you like yeah, I'm right behind you, and then you don't leave. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. just go to sleep. I, I only exist Fridays at two p.m. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if that intrigues you, or if you just want to come and see what's around, uh, May 13th, uh, is the spring showcase. And what time does that start? Do you know? I don't mind? Know. Keep going. I don't know if that's Google easy. it, Kendall. Yeah. God. Yeah. No. <laughs> what what am I? An answering machine. <laughs> uh, but if you feel like drinking at the, that event, we got BGS koozies, two for just $5. I'm not using mine right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a pretty terrible. I mean, I see that your drink, it just looks warm from here. It looks like it got hot. Like, you've got a koozie yeah, on it, but it's not Because I don't have a BGS koozie f- where might, I bought two yeah. for $5. You might as well put a tea bag in there. Like it, it's, it's, just, it's just horrible. <laughs> it's boiling. It, it's, it's, just, it's just terrible. Uh, but... Yeah, we, I don't even know. Uh, we're, we're trying to get an <laughs> online store set up. That completely threw off my train of thought. I don't know what I'm uh, saying either. Uh, I'm just saying words. <laughs> at this. Yeah, so welcome to the Buffalo Game Space podcast. Oh, hey. uh, uh, We just say we, words. We should um, mention TJ got his game past Greenlight. I'm working okay, on it. Sorry. <laughs> That's next. God damn. Uh, yeah, buy the koozies. They're great. <laughs> uh, we got two games who have officially now been put through the green light. We yeah. have Shotgun Farmer, is made by this weird guy named Quasi, uh, who did the entire development of it on Twitch. And first time that's ever been done uh, by Twitch's own to Twitch's own knowledge. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's that, really that's cool. Actually, really neat that they actually came out yeah, and really like cool. confirmed that. Yeah, he's been talking to them a bit so, about it. <clears throat> Hold on, from the Steam page itself. Shotgun Farmers is an online multiplayer shooter where your bullets grow the guns. The only way to get more ammo or find new weapons is to grow them yourself or harvest the plants grown by other farmers. Release, summer 2017. (laughs) Congrats, Quasi. Congrats, Quasi. Congrats. congrats. But that's Uh, old news. That's old news. The newer news, even though I still said this last week, but he went through green light, so it's technically new news. Uh, TJ... He uh, put Fist Elimination Tower. Yeah, fat F- for short. Fat. F-E- oh, yeah. I was like, you. I was like, fat elimination. <laughs> <Tower."> <laughs> <laughs> That's a very different game. Yeah, where fat people fall on you and you have to avoid them. <laughs> but uh, moving along. <laughs> that took. Think about it, TJ. Oh, <laughs> Sequel. Some 2D platformers give you rewards like more points or extra lives when you jump on multiple enemies without touching the floor. Fist Elimination Tower. Offers you a much greater prize for doing this. Survival. Play is a queue of randomly generated contestants that enter the tower, all hoping to win cash prizes, i.e. hats, and the glory of being the first person to ever reach the top of Fist's Elimination Tower. But they'll have to look out for Fist's. I'm always doing that anyways, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just out. a day-to-day yeah. thing. It's you know? pretty good at this game. 2017. <laughs> And I I think the game was probably strong, but I think what was stronger was Kendall's voiceover in the trailer. And I, that's, I thought you I were going to do the, the strong because of the punching. Wait, what did you say in the trailer? I, uh, I'm i the voice of Allison Fist. Oh, okay. She's a fist. Wow, dog. <laughs> She's a fist. <laughs> Don't even know what we're doing, do you? Yeah, do you know where you are right now, Doug? Uh, what do you think but yeah, this you is? Yeah, you should uh, check that game out and enjoy my lovely voiceover. Is it in the game? It's going to be in the game, yeah. I'm going to start doing lines All right. soon. So. I think in the sound booth that we're in right now? Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Gotcha. They was done in the sound booth. It was. Uh, the trailer voice. You could probably tell from the quietness. It's the same kind of quietness 
in between words, like you'll probably recognize the quietness. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you mean the fan that we never get on yes. the back? Yes, <laughs> 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 the giant fan. It sounds like a fan. For <laughs> I'm pretty sure Pat was in there. I'm honestly that. not even sure we turned on the fan. There was a lot more sweat that time than there is now. Oh, it was an intense recording session. It was, yeah. Are we still doing? talking about the recording session? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Mass Maybe. Effect. Uh, so, on to the news of the week. Mass Effect uh, is almost out. It's at its early play period for EA Origins, which I'm, I'm really considering doing. But the one thing... I'm not. The one thing that kind of always worried about, and my mic keeps falling and it's pissing me off, uh, that the animations, especially facially, are shite. Yeah, uh, that's and so just in general, hard to get Ooh. right. Uh, not this bad. Uh, not really bad community theater. Like, like. Oh Indian- my god! Look at this <laughs> for the listeners. We like, are watching a video right now. Like Indiana Jones thrill ride, like the stunt show. Like, all right, now is when you fall, and then they fall Indian. after they get hit. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty gnarly. This game is getting completely ripped apart, and it's uh, not even out yet. No, it's it's getting good reviews, animation wise. Well, animation wise, it's getting boned. animation wise is what I meant when I said that. But also, it seems to be getting mixed reviews. A lot of people are getting overwhelmed at the beginning because it sounds like they throw you in the deep end pretty mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it sounds yeah. like it's less like a kind of a reboot for the series, which people thought, and more of just Mass Effect Four, where you're just you're in that shit now. Yeah, uh, which is kind of <laughs> shitty. Sorry, this is like the worst <laughs> video to have up. We will not get through this yeah, podcast. Somebody, oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm looking straight. It's only a minute and a half long. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, it's like, I actually, uh, at the uh, Game Developer Awards, when they showed the first gameplay, I saw, I think they actually might have it in here, where she takes the gun from somebody. And I remember watching that going, that looks fucking terrible. Yeah. Mm. Like, why did you put You have that? an animation background. It's worth pointing out I, I, yeah, this is true i i have been known to you like are also a things. person on the internet but this on top true. of that well i was just like i was watching it live uh, oh hey yeah oh, we'll get whoa, we'll get there we'll whoa, get there whoa 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 <laughs> video started playing whoa. um Rogue playlist over here that's why it's really high. but uh yeah like i saw that is it still going damn it stop that I always know when, when <laughs> something's going on because Greg just starts like looking over my he shoulder, just like, leans, like half just a slightly foot to, to the left. left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> suddenly he set a diagonal in his chair. It's, but I remember seeing that like at the official like the the uh, the award show. I'm like, that looks so terrible. Yeah. Why do they put that? In? Like they had to have had a better one, right? It actually, you know, what's funny is. When was the first gameplay revealed of this? At the this the this game year's awards. Game Developer yeah. Choice Awards. Yeah, that was. So it. that tells me they. It knew wasn't that GTC. It was the. Um, oh okay. It was the Video Game Awards. When was that? Uh, with Jeff Keel. Uh, December ish, give or take. Yeah, like that. That's weird. Like it tells me that they kind of knew they had some hot shit on their hands in terms of the animation because. <laughs> but the thing is, like otherwise, like environmentally and like the environmental animations, everything's gorgeous. Yeah. But it's like, and then there are people. You 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 fudged up that one hard. Like yeah. like Deus Ex had terrible lip syncing. But the thing is, the game itself was fun, so like you could kind of look over it. This is like the cutscene. That's like, hard. Yeah. The cutscenes apparently though, are good. My guess oh, really? though, yeah. I think I, I I have to cut it some slack. I guess though, because I I'm pretty sure. Not sorry. My guess is. <laughs> To use that word for the 14th time in a row, <laughs> is that this is a procedural process because there's a huge amount of content. So instead of leaps, limps, lip syncing all of it, why not just have a procedural? And I yeah. think that's I mean, what happened also with Deus Ex, but it is bad. It, it is, it's it's comically bad. Like, yeah. if it's a little <laughs> off, it's just kind of like, oh, that's kind of funny, but it's a video game, so it kind of just gives you the it's expected f- yeah. Yeah. Well, This is like, ho, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. that dude's crab walking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, and it's like speaking of like facial animations and stuff, Resident Evil Seven. No spoilers this time, I promise. Um, like they're I was, I was all of, for impact. <laughs> <laughs> all of the characters kind of have crazy eyes. Like especially the uh, video recording of Mia right at the beginning of the game. Like she looks insane, and she's just trying to like emote her happy. Ha- her hair, her, her hair, hair is, is yeah. bananas. Every, like everything in that game is pretty beautifully rendered. Yeah, except for hair. Her hair <laughs> was like it alive. It was like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> <that>. it <laughs> literally flipped through. Her. Her, it was like, it was like all she was Medusa. <laughs> yeah. it, it was a <laughs> snake. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, that was yeah. They all also the, had one thing really about like teeth. facial animations too is just there's I think you just said this like too much teeth 
like way too much teeth. Well, that was actually <laughs> because for that particular, so I actually read an article about that, mm-hmm. specifically Resident Evil 7, people going like, these people are supposed to be like heavily disease ridden and like the deep south. Why does everybody have perfect teeth? Because <laughs> it's America. Because well. it's, they described that when they scanned all the actors in, apparently all the actors just had really great teeth. Mm-hmm. So I that mean, just happened. That doesn't mean you have to give them. You could, like, yeah, but like rock a box like yeah. this. Yeah, so, like with their like, lips I'm gonna parsed out. So it's like, you know, it's weird. Eh. Uh, like I mean, hey, like you know, like if you're talking to somebody normally, maybe you get a glimpse of like their front two top teeth, and that's it, and yeah. like a glimpse. To yeah. be fair, when anybody talks to you in that game, they are in your face, <laughs> like you are looking down yeah. their throat. Even even then, like when do you ever pull your lips apart that much when you're speaking? Well, you don't. I mean, they I'm have sorry. they have the. I can't the remember what the virus is. <laughs> maybe that was one of the side. Effects. Anyways, Mass Effect. Yeah. yeah so, Mass Effect. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Just it has funny animations. Well, I'm interested. I mean, Mass Effect was like uh, Mass Effect Two is maybe the game I've played the beat the most times. It's definitely up there. I uh, really I didn't like it. three. I, I liked one. one. One I, is. I'm sorry. One is meh. I would yeah. start. I always recommend to start with two, and then when if you it, yeah, go I back, go play one. I played all when, three because eh. I'm pro. Yeah. But uh, so I'm looking and forward. I also had a lot of time I, to, to this game. I might actually just go out and buy it on like Monday or two. I'm but. heavily thinking about it, but I'm still waiting just because I'm jaded as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wait on it. Especially because I saw like this confirmed my like the thing that I saw way early on. So it's just like maybe, maybe give it a little bit. Apparently, they're coming out with a patch that is going to fix some of those. So it sounds like it might just be a bug somewhere, Maybe. and that hopefully, if they fix it, mm. it it'll. I don't think they will. A few thousand uh, bugs. I, I'm, per, I'm well, hoping. I, g- I mean, I feel like they kind of might just because everybody's so focused on it. Maybe. We'll Maybe. see. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, like uh, they also took them like two months to fix the one bug in Mass Effect 3 that transferred your face over. So um, I want to hold your breath. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. yeah, we'll see where it goes, though. I just I feel like a lot of developers might be nervous about very intense fan responses after uh, the the butchering of No Man's Sky. After everything that ever came out ever. Well, <laughs> uh, moving along, Nintendo Switch. Does anybody have a Switch here? I My don't. roommate does. I Ryan tu- does. I touched one last John night. Does. It was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's it like? I, I played. It, it's a fablet. With yeah. things on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I played Breath of the Wild for like seven minutes on it. I was like, eh, whatever. It seems cool. It's a cool concept. But yeah. 1.5 million units sold. Dude, this game though, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to playing it because it just, I, I can't remember the last time I heard a game as universally acclaimed as this Zelda is being. People, and to the degree. People it, have been yeah. saying that it's like very different from like the Zelda formula and I've never played any of the Zelda games. Yeah, I've so heard that it's the original formula. Yeah, yeah that's like what I hear a lot. School. And they but there's a there is a lot of interesting things going on that like at a glance I think seem like things are n- I'm not going to be or wouldn't be into. Um I guess I can talk more about that sort of I want if we get to the Witcher 3 today but uh mm-hmm. like I just I don't know. Crafting is such a tired system to me. Um, yeah, but I think they, it sounds like they do it pre- like almost like a survival game. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I think they do it in a good way. <laughs> they must because it's getting good because, reviews yeah. in, at yeah. a time where crafting is nothing new. So This is true. But for the Switch, so 1.5 million units sold, the vast majority of which are in the first week, to the point where they are now doubling production. I just find it funny that there's all these articles now of people of like saying that Switch sales are already falling. Well, no shit. Yeah, of course. They, there's they none to. around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have them. They have them. them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's that that that's news for news sake. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. moving down the line, I'll leave it running because Greg seems to be mesmerized. <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun, I'm having fun over here. He's Greg pretending like he's playing. Lean. You can't see it under the table, but he's like moving his hands <laughs> like he has a controller. <laughs> like maybe it's me. Uh, <laughs> project Scorpio officially has a project. Our product page. On what is that? That is the latest and greatest and supposedly the greatest console ever created. Do you know about this, Doug? I have no clue. What I'm is. so confused. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard this. Do you want to just a take pro- this away? Project Scorpio? Here, let me... Uh, I have who's making it? Let it's me guess. Micro- it's the latest Xbox. Oh, oh okay. okay. And by... It's like technically the latest... 
I just got a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, and they I came out with PS4.4 oh. Pro or whatever. Yeah, the um, 4K version of the console. Oh, right. yeah. this is, is that? that, what that is? Is I thought that. they already yeah. had that out. They have the Xbox One S, but what it does is basically just upscales everything. Which is what the PS4 more or less does, it, I think. They do the exact yeah. same thing, except the PS4 actually does less. Uh, because the uh, Xbox One has that HDR and it's all built in, and the PS4 Pro does not still doesn't do 4K. It does HDR. It does like really close to. 4K. It does as close, but yeah. it's not quite there. Whereas the Xbox One S actually does. Uh, not hmm. it. That fucking doesn't matter. It's like the terms of like a couple pixels. Why are you being such a fanboy right now? Microsoft cares about me as a person. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah. so it's supposed to come out in a holiday, and I'm actually looking at the page now. It doesn't have much, but it's supposed to be the most powerful console ever created with six. I should hope so. I hope with not. six <laughs> yeah. teraflops. Tera. Dude, the first time I ever heard of a gigaflop, I thought it was a joke. I was it like, sounds oh. like it sounds yeah, like a porn. Yeah. Like but trollish. six teraflops of graphical processing power, and it's the first and only console to have true 4K gaming and high fidelity virtual reality, even though the PS4 has. I feel like that thing would like melt into the ground <laughs> if I turned it on. I can make a joke <laughs> about teraflops, but it would be a flop. <laughs> it would be a teraflops. <laughs> It would be <laughs> so many flops. In this one is why flop. we need a mic deck that has <laughs> separate ones so you can just mute her. <laughs> well, I think really we need jokes. like elec- electric current feedback. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's, that's <laughs> yeah, like I just, you know, I'm just here playing with my cord and it'll yeah. just shock me whenever yeah. I go to and say something like, like, terrible. You deserve that. And then <laughs> maybe we'll get less bad jokes. Maybe. I don't think so, I, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might encourage Her pain me. tolerance will go up then. Yeah, that's about exactly. But yeah, Project Scorpio. That's the uh, the temp title. They don't have whatever the hell Xbox Two, even though it's a new Xbox. But they can't do that uh, because yeah. people would lose their shit if they thought it was a new console. Even though mm-hmm. the PS4 Pro was a fucking new console, the One S was a new console. But sh- yeah, that's true. The Pro basically is. It's yeah. a it's a new con. I mean, it's updated. But all it was it was a graphics card update. But it was a new console. But they no. sold it as a PS4 because people be like, I just bought one. Like sh- Which used to be, the, yeah, we don't have to get into the cycles, but yeah, the yeah. cycles are way strange now. I feel like yeah. it sets the bar lower, too. Like, if you say this is the PlayStation 5 versus this is just a different, slightly upgraded version of PlayStation 4, people expect, like, an upgraded PlayStation That's 4 true. versus uh, six years of new technology in a PlayStation 5. Yeah. It, it's, yeah, so either way, it's, a, it, it's just interesting. I'm very curious to see how, like, they are jerking themselves off with how powerful this console is. <laughs> and I am incredibly curious to actually see it. Not the jerking off part. <laughs> <laughs> um, but th- that's actually their first VR game. Oh, well. that's point. Uh, <laughs> I'm calling it today. <laughs> what, what time was that so we can bleep yeah. that up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, calling you know, it. <laughs> Pat makes a jerking off joke <laughs> in virtual I'm, reality. I'm calling it today. I feel like it's going to have fan and cooling problems. You heard it here first. Uh, yes. What are it you basing this on? It <laughs> wouldn't like surprise me, I shoulders. guess. But the Xbox One actually has phenomenal air cooling. Oh, it does. Yeah, um, I think they they had that problem with the 360. So I think yeah, that's they where all the red sensitive. ring of death Maybe came they, from. Yeah. So they, they learned it. that one yeah. hard. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I I doubt, especially because it's Microsoft. They make PCs. Yeah, they, yeah. they know how to make like a like this sounds like a gaming PC without. Like the actual form of a desktop is yeah. what this uh, sounds like, honestly. Okay. Which yeah, they've been going towards that, but for already, years. Yeah, I'm not. But you already that. called it. Yeah, I'm not retracting no that statement. Back. Yeah, I'm not retracting. You knew, that you statement. knew all that all that already when yeah. you made that statement. My yeah. my, uh, my uncle's uncle works at Microsoft. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just uh, it's most powerful console ever made, compatible with all Xbox One gaming accessories. So it's just a, a holy shit level Xbox One. Interesting, but who knows what happens. And last, but I'm pretty sure at least last, but certainly not least, Blizzard's been named by Fortune Magazine as one of the top 100 companies to work at in the world. Oh, yeah. that's that's good to hear. They clearly cool. know what they're doing. Yeah. I just find it funny because it's Activision Blizzard. People were like, Activision's not allowed to be a good place. <laughs> uh, they, Blizzard kind of took that back a little bit i think they like bought their own they own a majority of their own shares or something like that i think now. they're an independent company yeah. under their company yeah they 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 there was a period where i think activision was driving and then that you know I, I th- they basically went this isn't working yeah out. i think it's it seemed to me that during that time like they were sort of milking blizzard 
for absolutely stuff and then blizzard kind of was able to get back to like actually making well that and also about. if activision is a good company they should know hands if it's working don't fuck with it yeah like just let it make money yeah. like it like it seems like bethesda may pretty much leaves it alone exactly yeah. like i mean if they're doing good you might own them but the best thing you could do is just, just let, let them, them go let them do their own, yeah. unless they need help right uh, which seems to be, for the most part, what the games industry does. Like people acquire things all the time. They just yeah. like are just just go. Like if it if it's working, don't fuck with it. All right, moving along to everybody's games. I just have one thing to say. I finally got the fucking Caduceus in Division. I've been trying to get this gun <laughs> for a year. It's oh. What is it? I was actually about to ask what you what do? your loadout was in the division. I don't remember if we talked about that last time. Do you see that super awesome special gun that he's holding? Yeah. I have that now. I like the color. Oh, what does yeah. it? What does it do? What <laughs> so what it does is that it used to like they um, actually revamped it in the last update, so it actually basically did nothing. But when they did the latest <laughs> update, uh, what it does is that every time I do a critical hit on somebody, it heals me and my team one percent of my oh, wow. uh, oh, biggest damage, good. which that's is crazy. where I put all of my fucking points into into crits. It, it's just in like my weapons damage. Like uh, some people do like tech stuff where like they'll like grenades and like their abilities. Where I just my bullets, man. <laughs> I, I just rain havoc on that. Yeah. So yeah, like that's and it does that like every point two seconds. Like so, pretty much as long as I keep like getting crits, you can't die. Oh, well, you can die. Don't worry, uh, <laughs> because you know, there's still enemies that do like you know you have a higher damage threshold. Yeah. But especially like I already have my character now. Like within my last like chunk of life, I yeah. constantly heal, and I also with the gun I have now do more damage the less health I have. So it like basically makes it good for me just to rambo it and just take bullets oh, just nice. as long That's as awesome. I keep going. But with this gun, I can do that and heal people. Oh yeah, because you heal your team. Too. Because That's I heal crazy. my team. Because before it just healed you, whereas now it actually also heals your team. So That's it's cool. actually like a group. That's really cool. Factor. Yeah. It's actually a lot of healing too. It, it does if you have high uh, firearms damage, which is your offensive stuff. Like it will, it'll do work for you. Cool. Uh, Congrats. I, I, thank you. Yeah, thank congratulations. You. Uh, I farmed a shitload of bosses. <laughs> I think every day while I was here after I was done working, I did all 14 of them in the world. Oh, God. I finally got it yesterday. I don't know if any of you are on Snapchat with me, but I did put that shit on there. <laughs> uh, it was pretty great. It was at like 1230 at night on a Sunday, uh, which is obviously what I do with my free time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's what we all do. Yeah. Yeah, I just grind the fuck out of division. We're all there. <laughs> you all know what the yeah. So different yeah. games. That that's all I got. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you because I know you're all really worried about that. Yeah. And so look out if you see you SG Death run. Fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving along, we'll start with Kendall. Yes. Who has this game? Um. So last time we talked a little bit about um, Virtue's Last Reward, which is the second game in the. Uh, oh God. I don't remember what the series is called. Zero Escape series. Yeah. Um, wow, Kendall. Don't yeah, I know, know right? I'm game. just such a fan. Um, no, so I, I think the last time I talked about it, I had just started the second one, and mm -hmm. I had some misgivings, but it ended up being very, very good. Uh, similar to the first game, but definitely with a new twist on it and just a really, really interesting direction. Um, and I loved it. And then I started Zero Time Dilemma, and I have some. I played. 20 minutes of it, 15, 20 minutes of it, I already reached one of the endings, and I have some very serious misgivings, uh, and I've it's actually prevented me from picking it up again. Um, so the first two games, it's always possible to get out with everybody surviving. And in this game, they're basically like, yeah, you're not get leaving until six people die. And it's like, really? okay, That's odd. I feel like you've defeated the purpose. That's crazy. Like, how a you, lot. Yeah, how you um, force it? That's, that is odd. Yeah, you know, in the other games, there's Zero who sets up the games, and he's, like, forcing all these people to play and whatever. Is he the time dilemma? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> um, but, you know, in the other games, there's, like, this possibility of, oh, what if Zero is, like, one of the people here? And, like, in... Well, okay, never mind. Um, spoilers for the first game. But wow, I'm go god there. damn it, Kendall. <laughs> I didn't actually say it this time. Kendall, spoiler alert. <laughs> You just can't <laughs> talk to me ever at all. Um, yeah, yeah, write it down, Greg. Write it down. <laughs> I wasn't 
actually a spoiler. I almost said it, but I just didn't. because Shut you up. omit information is a spoiler in and of itself. <laughs> I need to write this shit down. Anyway, <laughs> so in the um, first couple of games, there's the possibility of zero being um, one of the people that you're in the game with, and not just somebody standing outside. And like in the second game, there's an AI program that talks to you to tell you the rules. Um, but it's very clear that the AI program like is not zero. They're just sort of working for him. And then this game, there's a guy who walks up, and you'll see it in a couple of seconds on our video here, um, wearing like, you know, plague mask and weird robes, and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm zero. Uh, like, you have to play this I'm game." Zero it's no <laughs> yeah. He's just like, but "Oh you my can gosh. just call me zero. That's my yeah, father's so, name." So there's no. Well, okay, Holy I don't know. Crap. Yeah, well, and then there's the art style is very drastically different, and I'm not a fan. But anyway, um, it wasn't what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah, that's in that's in every game. There's one of those. Um, yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> um, but <laughs> anyway, so it's just like there's no like, oh no, what if it's one of us? Like, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna switch that up and be like, oh, but like this guy's clearly not. I don't know. I feel like. They're not. And then there's the Ooh. fact of I got an ending of the game literally 10 minutes into it. It was nine minutes of watching a cutscene and then making one decision. And it's like, I feel Sounds like this like is the end of Mass Effect. And the credits rolled. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. Um, and I, this is not a spoiler at all because it's the beginning of the fucking game. He tosses a coin and you get to the choice of picking whether it's red or blue, and if you get it right, you all can leave and you don't have to play the game. And I'm like... <laughs> did you get it right? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, score, done. And I was just like, okay. Speed run. In all of the other games, it's like, you're here, you're playing this game, you, technically all of you can get out alive, but you're playing this game and you don't have a fucking choice. In this game, it's like, yeah, I mean, coin toss, whatever, 50-50, maybe you get out, maybe you don't. It's interesting. And it was just like... I like it. I... Uh it's so different from the other games. I just did not appreciate that's, it. I mean, that much. does seem like a pretty hardcore departure. It's interesting because you win, so but you lose also. You lose out like, on yeah. doing the thing that you spent it's, money it's on. It's literally, yeah. it's just like, here's this giant game. Oh, I can win in 10 but minutes. Right. You just go back in, though. Why? But you're not you technically lose. winning. You're not you're that would like be really frustrating to me, though, if I just kept getting wins. And I'm yeah. like, I just want to play this goddamn yeah, game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same every time. something you can skip around? It's well, okay. So it's it's the same every time. So I went back and I picked the uh, the losing one because I knew which one it was going to oh, be. Oh, it's the same every so time. So now I can actually, oh. I think it is. But now I can actually go back. That and, would like, have to be play it the whole game. And I was just yeah. like, really, like why? That sound that sounds stupid. If like they're forcing that, you to go back through it, because that mechanic is essentially an arbitrary loss. Like, yeah. you don't win if you flip. That's right. like losing yeah. at the beginning of an RPG or yeah. a JRPG. Like you're yeah. going to lose. You're going to get your ass kicked just so I can show you how powerful I right. am. Right. Yeah. 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 No, it was it's just so stupid. And like in in the other games it was all about this like science fiction y morphogenetic fields sort of shenanigans, like going jumping through different time and Not dimensions. Shenanigans. Lots of shenanigans. Um like d jumping through like different times and dimensions and worlds and whatnot, um, to be able to find the correct path to get out with everybody surviving. And this is it starts out with a coin toss, and I just was so not impressed. Is there no time stuff, as in zero time I, dilemmas? I don't, I don't know. You're gonna, trying I'm very keep, hard. I'm <laughs> dragging that one down. You would be shocked right now if we had our new system in place. I hope so. <laughs> I'm the host. I'm the one who shocks. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power. That's it. It's You're like exempt. A, a breaking bad line. I'm the one who knocks. I'm the one who shocks. I'm the one who shocks. Yeah. There's our tagline. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's pretty great. But yeah, yeah. That can, I can understand is how that would uh, that that Time that sounds just so. annoying. It's it's disappointing. It's and you can see it right now. They're doing the, the coin choice. I think that's a good. And it's like one of those things that like I love, but it's not fun. <laughs> like yeah. it's not a good. Doesn't make for a good game, but I love the idea at the same time. Yeah, and it like especially just the enormous departure from how the rest of the game. Is, uh, the other games are set up like they have set up this world they've like set a baseline with the other two games and it's just like well you know fuck i mean thanks thanks I for mean, giving me a really cheap win right at the beginning yeah especially it's like, weird how like they I, give it to you as like a positive yeah and like it's, if it's they, literally it's literally mm -hmm. like with all the other games if you get a uh, ending it's because you have gone through the entire thing and you've made choices and you've like had to do stuff and this it's like oh i picked a or b <laughs> and i was right great 
Yeah, like at least it would have made sense. So like, if if you had lost the coin toss, or like if you had gotten it right, like okay, I won't kill you then. Like I won't let you leave. Like it's either I kill you right now, then it'd be game over. Yeah. So it's at least like you're still playing, as yeah. opposed to like yeah, shit's done now. Yeah, like oh. I toss a coin, and Thanks, if you bro. get it wrong, three of you die, and if you get it right, then you can just yeah. Play then the game then normally. it'd be like it's still like you're winning, but you're still like yeah. Pl- it goes with a thematic parts of the game yeah it makes sense are there things you like about this game though um there's zero time dilemmas <laughs> <laughs> none of those you know absolutely zero i love games that literally just take like buzzwords and just smash them together yeah that's I, a lot of games metal recently. gear solid well horizon zero dawn <laughs> horizon point, zero dawn yeah, yeah. didn't we talk one about those? this in our last yes ones together? that's yeah. why i bring it up yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was pretty it's pretty yeah i love that so yeah. much. Um, I mean, it's hard for me because, like, my impression of the game so far is the first, like, 20-ish minutes, and I was just so put off by that opening. Um, Why as does I it said, put like, you off, though? Or you just don't want to spend the time to go back in? No, it's... I mean, I want to finish the game. I want to see what they do with this one, and, like, it's gotten high ratings. So I know they're going to do something cool. This had a shitty start. Yeah, no, this is I the just one. Really I really did not appreciate how they started that off. With this that is the first one thing. I ever heard about before yeah. I heard of the others. It was like, this is the one. This one's so good. And then yeah. I saw it was a part of a series. Yeah. So, like, and, and I have hope for it. It's just, I am really mad that they gave me that, like, cheap option. It's just like, why? That I is, feel like they couldn't. Odd. I feel like they couldn't put something like that into the game unless it tied into some sort of line or storyline somewhere I else. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah. So maybe maybe the next time I come back in here, I will have picked the game up. But for like, so over it all w- makes sense now. There was a time dilemma <laughs> for yeah. for over a week now. I just have not touched the game because I'm just so annoyed. <laughs> no, but I I have hope. I think it'll be interesting. Um, there in the first game there was a bunch of characters, and then in the second game they brought two of them back, and you didn't figure it out until like near the end. Um, and then in this game, they're like, oh, yeah, and this person's back from the first game, and these two people are back from the second game, and look at this. And it's just like, so okay. So they're just having a shitty time. They're like, like, yeah, you're back in this again. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, um, what, I already what, solved this game. Yeah. What is interesting is, like, the first game, you play it, and you're just like, oh, that's cool. Like, that stands alone on its own. That's really interesting. The second game takes the first game and completely expands this world around it. So then starting this game, they, like, read out what the day is the current date and from the events of the second game i'm just like oh shit this is already going to be interesting from the date you just know that yeah yeah just from the like knowing the date and the events of the last game see that's how you properly deal with spoilers (laughs) i'm learning (laughs) i'm trying very hard It's it's like me ribbing you about messing up the uh, the one the fucking time. Yeah, Except for one and that of one fucking time I said the spoiler. Yeah, the we're gonna one, bleep the it out two anyway. First off, and second off, screwing up the number. They already know the number at the top of the page. They didn't know who the fuck was where <laughs> in Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> There's this magical thing called editing, which you're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make it all better. We're just gonna bleep everything out. Replace everything you say with alpaca sounds. <laughs> That would be really interesting. Wait, is this the game credits rolling? So did this happen to oh, the Oh, is that thing? actually? Yeah. No, yeah, okay. So what you just watched is the <laughs> yeah. person playing this picked the correct thing, and, and they're you, like, g- you play for 10 minutes, and you get the fucking credits. I wonder if it just, just gives so you... so annoying. I wonder if it just gives you... Whatever thing you pick first just is... No matter what? Yeah. I don't know. Because he picked the same thing I did. Oh, okay. So... I just... Yeah, that is that is odd. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's like that. That's just uh, it, like like I can understand if like especially like a three games in. If this yeah, if this had been the first game of the series, I'd been like, oh, that's they're just doing weird shit. The first game is always where they do all the weird ideas. Yeah, and yeah. then after you've gone two other games and you've established a pattern for these escape games, then you're gonna like suddenly make it drastically effing different. Yeah, mm. that is that I I can very much see how that'd be very. That, it's just odd. Yeah. Like, I wonder if anybody played this and went like, oh, fuck, I guess that's it, and put it down. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Definitely at least one if, person. If at least goal, somebody, theoretically, listen, right? If their goal was to get every single person that's trapped in there out alive, then, yeah, you Score. could pretty much walk away. Because you got 100% then, done. Then done. if you play, if you pick the bad side of the coin, um, then it's like, oh, well, six people have to die. And it's like, well... I'm already not getting out of here with everybody. So, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. First ending is great. Goodbye. I would just be like, 
Hmm. Like, how do you pick at that point? You're just like, that guy's shirt is stupid. Uh, <laughs> I don't like his haircut. <laughs> you sound funny. Yeah. yeah that, that that is kind of odd. Yeah. I can I can understand that. Well, uh, let us know how it goes. I yeah. will. If I it continues sure. to suck, please. <laughs> Either there will be more ranting or there will be much praise. So. I suspect the latter. I, I'm, hope, I also I'm hoping suspect praise. The latter. I hope yeah. praise. This, I mean, this just podcast the fact that, needs positivity. Yeah, just the fact that everybody who, well, not, not everybody, but like most of the people who have played this game really loved it, I think. Except for you. I have played 20 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you played it and you didn't say beat it. <laughs> Um, fine. Most of the people who beat this game really liked it. Mm. Um, but I, I have hopes for sure. Well, keep us tuned in on the, the time dilemmas and how many of them there aren't. Maybe, maybe there's zero. Maybe there's there, not. They're hopefully going to be zero. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, you're Otherwise get, you're just going to be really garden. mad at the, uh, the name. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So since I want to save Greg for last, because actually I don't know. Greg is busy doodling. Yeah, Greg is uh, doodling my can, ass can off. Can we over please here. like? Are you that bored? I'm sorry. That, are you? Uh, Am I boring man? you right now? I mean, I just said after 50 podcasts, I can multitask. <laughs> Wait, what, quite what even is that, man? Well, that's you because you're like... not doing anything. You have to do the host thing. No, that's what you do, though. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. why you can do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now you know no, what Greg, I was so doing. Just let me do it. What is the problem here? I was just drinking, talking shit for the first, like, 35 episodes. <laughs> I'm still doodling as we talk right now, and probably nobody can tell that's listening. Well, yeah, because I can't I see. I mean, we can cause tell because you're not directly <laughs> talking yeah. into your mic anymore. I, I am. He's drawing, like, mm-hmm. stick figures over there. No, I'm not. What is it? It's like a He's rock garage. Like, is, is it good? Whatever just, you draw at the just, end, I want to see. It has to be the thumbnail. It's but, oh, yeah. Now. Show me really at the very end. I want to see nothing. the culmination of your <laughs> work. <laughs> patterns. I just want to see. Because I can't actually draw. So I just draw patterns. Patterns are fun, though. You can make really cool things with patterns. Yeah. I know. Like <laughs> things and <laughs> objects. I got you back. <laughs> uh, so what do we want to talk about, though? Well, like Kendall's teaching. This the is art. not good radio. Yeah. Are we good radio normally? No, but this is uh, <laughs> we're this not is not the way to get away from that. We're not radio to start with. <laughs> so there's that. Listen, right. this is ragging on each other radio. Usually it's just video game radio. Welcome to the Buffalo Game Space podcast. <laughs> where I yell at I'm an asshole. For a while. Pat Casterson. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> New tagline. <laughs> I'm a jackass, not an asshole. There's Sorry. A, there's I, didn't a mean difference. I did mean to insult you. Can our heart open be I'm a jackass, not an asshole? Hmm? Can our heart open be I'm a jackass, not an asshole? Just that. Mm. I'm a jackass, not an asshole. Dude, that's like, that is li- I say that phrase all the time. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I mean, I guess it can be. Yeah, like you've already trademarked I'll, it. I'll so that that is like something I legitimately say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a jackass, not an asshole. Because he has to. Because there is a difference. A asshole does it just because he's an asshole and he's a jerk. Jackass does it for shits and giggles. <laughs> Anyway, what? games. I don't know what we're talking about. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're dueling. You can't listen. So you can't do both. Hey. So now, now you're, because you're doing that, I want you to talk next. All right. What do you want me Let's to say? Save Greg for, or Doug for last. You're now yeah. Greg and you're Doug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then I'm going last. You see what he did there? <laughs> <laughs> Doug, you're up. <laughs> That's you're, you're done. You're All right, done. so yeah, I've been playing yeah. the <laughs> 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 I've been I'm playing the Witcher three. Bleep that whole section out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just our stupidity. Anyway, no, I'll leave it in. We're I'll probably us, leave it. Makes us I've been playing human. the Witcher three. What the f- what uh, what yeah. game is that? It's, just, it's an, indie, heard of it's an game. indie game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, very very. Is it it's sci-fi? Yeah, it's a sci-fi indie game. Yep. <laughs> uh, where you're a witch. Really. <laughs> No, <laughs> are, are <laughs> you're, okay. <laughs> it's so The Witcher Three is. I actually thought it was set in like Salem, you know. <laughs> no, no, another another thing. It's not. Uh, <laughs> also, here they have guns. Yeah, we're <laughs> just gonna guns. start labeling shit that's not in this game. It's a <laughs> fantasy RPG, ARPG. Some would say ARPG. What is AR- action RPG? Oh, okay. uh, it is literally that an action RPG. Yeah, so I don't know. It's not a new game. This game came out like what over a year ga- ago. Yeah, it's like, been mm-hmm. out for at least a year now. Um, put so, out what three or four DLCs. Yeah, which are all every all everything about this game has just been praised endlessly. Um, it's a very pretty game. This is true, and I'm playing it. Sweet. So, so now you, you know, praise it, or you're gonna relentlessly. Uh, <laughs> neither, <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna keep playing it. 
Really? Yeah. How far in are you? Do you know? Well, that's kind of the thing. Okay, well, how many, <laughs> how many hours have you played it for? I've played it for probably about 10, and okay. I've made no, I've done nothing in the scope of what this game is. It's, <laughs> it's huge. huge. It very seems overwhelming. It's I feel like too big. Games. And that would be one thing. The content's already repeating itself, though. Like, the whole game appears to be you go out into the woods, you find tracks, and then you do like a forensics, like, hmm, okay, so the tracks are here. <laughs> then you find like a brutally, like, just dismembered, gory body, and then you go, okay. And like, this is, that happens all the time. And, the, and then the analysis is always the same. It's always like, all right, uh, huge claw marks. It's always huge claw marks. <laughs> and then it always ends up being a werewolf or something else. But the analysis is always huge claw marks, something big, must have been probably, it's, it's probably a werewolf. The same general thing, <laughs> but it's just because, like, all right, it's because of these claw marks, but they don't differentiate right. the difference between them. It's yeah, just it's claw always marks. just huge claw, huge claws. That claw sounds like a retarded <laughs> version of Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't played that. <laughs> Where you actually, like, you actually have to, like, pick up evidence, but it's like, okay, sometimes it's a gunshot, there, oh, there's yeah. drugs, like, stuff. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. It, it's not even that diverse. You just walk yeah. out into the woods, you find trail, a track, use your witcher senses, you f- witcher senses, and you follow them into a cave. And usually it's a werewolf. I you, have you ever <laughs> seen those videos where like somebody talk like drunk history or like oh, yeah, and they that. redo it afterwards, but they dub everything. I want to yeah. do what you just talked about that whole process, except you going out into the woods saying, "Ah, yeah. oh, it must be claws." <laughs> yeah, like just going through that whole process. Do it, like it, finding a dismembered body every oh, time. Yes, okay. They should have called claw. this Werewolf Three. <laughs> Get I'm it? curious. But he's not a werewolf. He's a creature. I, I just see you walking <laughs> yeah. into the cave like, oh, great, another werewolf. It's always. Every time. <laughs> like, just, oh, last ooh, time I played, it's a werewolf. Last time I oh. played, I died to a werewolf. And I'm like, fuck this. Uh, uh, like, another one? Why is there so much in this game if every time it's me following tracks and nine times out of ten those tracks lead to a werewolf? <laughs> that, that is interesting because I know people who have like lost themselves in this game in a good way. Where like they're just like it's it, it's it's so awesome. I might and amazing. maybe my my ex was like the biggest fanboy for this game. I he loved the entire <sighs> Witcher series, and Witcher three came out, and he was just like, "Oh my god, it's incredible!" I think he's played it like three times now. It's oh my god, ridiculous. nerd! Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so like, we're dating. and there's there's definitely uh, it's it's hard not to be impressed by the size of the game, but when I'm digging into it. There's some stuff I love about it that I think they nailed. Like character, a lot of the characters or the at least the most like uh f- the character stories they focus around, like the characters are very interesting. For example, the writing's good. The writing mm-hmm. is pretty good. Um and the writing can be meh. I mean, the game is so big you're bound to not nothing not every it can't be all hits, right? But um like the main quest line I'm on is I have to, I'm trying to find this guy. He's like the bloody baron. And he's on paper the worst person. But like, and even as you're exploring what he wants you to do, which is to find his wife and daughter, everything you uncover about that is really dark. But like at the same time in dealing with him and trying to find him, find these people, there's something likable about the guy. Not that you do like him, but like, the human, he's just the not human like a, side. He's just not like a bad person thoroughly. Like there's upsides to this person as there are all people. Like no matter what people have done, uh, my opinion at this point in my life is that everybody's got their merits, even if they've done terrible stuff. Not ev- anybody's purely evil. Um, oh, thanks, man. He's just like a well, gener- he's just not like a generic <laughs> video game bad right. guy. Right, he's not just me. like bad just dude. Yeah, he's yeah, just staring at me. A person who's made some bad choices and is continuing to, but clearly is like conflicted about it. You know, like we've I've been through times in my life where I'm like, I am fucking up right now. Yep. Time to continue that. Like, <laughs> you know, like full you, steam ahead. Yeah, let's like, go. The, the, like, people make bad choices in in the face of knowing that will continue to for a lot of good reasons and and bad reasons. You know, that's just life. And so I just think that like I really love what's happening story wise. This guy is just you know, it's like he's becomes your friend. Meanwhile, what you're trying to do for him is uncovering all the darkness about him, which is basically that he's an abusive alcoholic and that's why his family is missing. But there's some genuine regret 
but like at the same time he hasn't quit drinking like he'll still show up drunk all the time and it's an actually it's a pretty long storyline uh with a lot of werewolves in it. But, uh, <laughs> is, well, is he also a werewolf, this guy? <laughs> yeah, and then Probably. he's a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, Honestly. Now I'm interested to see drinks. like where the werewolves come oh, into you know, this story I about if that's, the drunken. I wonder if that's like an intentional parallel right there. That could be. I'm probably overthinking it. <laughs> oh, like he's a man by day, but when he gets drunk, he he's a werewolf. He gets drunk and becomes yeah. a monster. Ah. Yeah, that might be what they're yeah. trying to That's do, cool. actually. So Maybe that could be really good. The shit out of it. At the same time, it's really repetitive, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even, that, if that that, that, even if that's intentional, the bottom line is it's repetitive gameplay. Yeah. So. Yeah, that sounds funny because it sounds like the opposite of why people like Fallout. Like the writing and the story is a big fat right. meh, but you can do whatever the fuck you want right. in it. Exactly. Or like GTA. It's that's actually a pretty good point. It's and it's a lot easier to design and make a game that way, mm -hmm. where you've just got colliding systems in some ways. Like you don't have to write a deep narrative thread because the narrative thread is actually a lot like FTL, which you're yeah, playing, exactly. Greg. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, we're talking about each other. <laughs> we gotta stop doing this. We gotta talk about each other in third person. All our fans are gonna be so confused, guys. Yeah, <laughs> all like all the one. Dale's going to be real confused. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, Dale, Dale and Steve. Steve. Dale and Steve. Um, Poor guys. So, like FTL, which Doug is playing, you know, uh, like Fallout, it, in, I don't know, it's, it, it could be argued that it's easier to design a game that way. Whereas this game, because when you don't have such a deep narrative thread, you don't have to untangle it ever, you know? But when you start having these really long nuanced storylines there's a you have to account for that more in the world um so it's cool in that way and actually i, I love that about it uh it, it's something that makes me want to keep playing it on the other hand what you have to do to get to that sounds like it's not right it, everything it else it, so that surrounds it is like there's an enormous amount of crafting which seems completely unnecessary uh like i'm not on the i'm playing on like the normal difficulty and I do not find it necessary to make the potions and the oils or craft my gear or any of that shit. I actually don't even spend my points sometimes when I level up. Like, I'll have three or four that I just dump into some stat at some point. Because yeah. I don't I've, need I've it. Been it's that not that hard. Yeah, before. like, and, I'm, and this is at the normal, like, tuned difficulty. So, you know, either use all this shit or don't, you know? Uh, I don't, I just feel like, I think there's a lot of wasted... A lot of waste, a lot of tedium in this game. And it's huge, of course. And it should, I guess, be obvious that that's going to come with tedium. But, you know, things are, you know, technology and design is progressing all the time. And maybe someday that's not going to necessarily be true. But it's definitely true right now. We're like, okay, cool. Your world is fucking huge. And it's going to take me days to walk through it and then do the same thing over and over and over. Like, yeah, I don't. A lot need of content that. does not equal good content. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, exactly. And I feel like a lot of people confuse that yeah. sometimes. Like, I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. But it's like uh, like the last game club uh, with, that we right. have yet to put Infinite out. Infinite content. Infinite content. It was procedurally generated. Yeah. But it was boring as balls. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. And it didn't look pretty. So, it, like, after yeah, a while. So, like, it didn't even have that going for it. <laughs> yeah. That, but, that uh, was a game. So, um, yeah, I mean, the game is, is, is ambitious and really the writing is generally, you know, pretty good to say the least. Uh, the environment, the world is beautiful. The, the way that the vegetation and, and just the, tr the forests and the way the wildlife and everything about it. I love like, their um, main character design too. He's why? I just like his design. It's just a jack dude. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, I mean... Yeah, he's not like... I like the female character design while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of nudity. A lot of nudity. <laughs> yeah, actually, the first scene in the game is uh, has nudity. Oh, is it really? Nice. They're setting bar high. Hey. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm your host, back. <laughs> we're definitely shocking him for that one. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to... In the face of things like... Uh, Zelda now, Breath of the Wild being out. It's like, why am I going to... I don't want to burn myself out on open world gameplay in a game I'm kind of meh about when now, if I can just wait a couple of weeks, I'll probably have Zelda and I'll be able to dive into that game and really enjoy it more. Um, you know, it's just... It's too much stuff. It's too tedious. And a lot of the stuff, it's just uninteresting it to me. It reminds me of how I dealt with Mafia 3. 
What's that? I don't that? know if you remember that game when I talked about that, Mafia 3. Um, I mean, I remember talking about it. But it was, was, like, really actually one of the few times where, like, the facial animations were on point. Right. Like, the story was great. The characters were awesome. But, my God, that game was boring. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, it also was kind of buggy, too, so that kind of dragged it down even more. But it was literally like, okay, you have a district now. You have to do the same four or five things to unlock that district. It felt like a, the original Assassin's Creed. Where it was just like, you do three things, you unlock the final mission, you do the mission, you move on. And it was the same thing over and over again. I'm like, yeah, that's that's how I feel about The Witcher. Now, I don't know. I mean, maybe I need... And here's the other thing. is It's just like, another turnoff is just like, because of the size, for me to really even have a qualified opinion on it, I need to have played most of this game. And... You're never gonna. But that's and I also. Know, I, I just can't. See, I like to a certain extent. Yeah, I understand that. Like obviously, but that's also kind of like not true because I like Final Fantasy 13. Duh, really around the 15 hour mark, really gets yeah. going good. Like <laughs> no, that's not a good game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that's I, a, that's <laughs> like if, if you're not gonna yeah. draw people in to keep playing. Right. It, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. shitty design. No one's that's gonna get to the 15 game. hour. Mark. I agree, yeah. but it's hard for me to fully come to a conclusion. I can't come to a full conclusion on what the game is if I haven't played most of it. Even I can say I don't like it and that it's a bad game, and that's probably fair. Um, I, I don't. I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's a game that's not for me. But um, it's probably fair at this point for me to make that assessment because I have put like ten to put fifteen 10 hours, hours yeah. in, right? But as far as actually saying what this game is, I can't do that unless I put like sixty hours into it, and I won't be done with it. Yeah, that's, it's uh, crazy big. Um, and then there's DLC. I just can't do it, you know? So I probably won't play it anymore. I'm glad I played it, and I there's a lot going on in there that's pretty interesting. Um, but like I said, when, like, Breath of the Wild's out, Horizon Zero Dawn's out, like, why am I playing The Witcher 3 when there's similar experiences that are now better designed uh, according to, you know, what I've read? Uh, it just seems like I should probably move on. Like, I get it, you more know. or less. I, I, I feel you on that one, because I've been there before. Or like you want to try a game that you want to normally play, and then just like, just not, not. I want to like there. it more than I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You you feel like y you want to, but just not something like looking. Yeah, I, I feel for you. So, uh, cool game. I mean, I can recommend it if you like those kinds of games. If this all, you know, if you're interested, if this sounds like a good game to you, you'll probably really like it because um, it is a really good game for what it's doing. It's just not for me. That's that. That's fair. You know, actually, it makes me want to play World of Warcraft because don't do that again, bro. No, I know, <laughs> but uh, I'm don't not going it. to. But World you of Warcraft, it has like the extensiveness of those of a lot of the systems in WoW. Where as far as like WoW has like you know you got to go find all these flowers to craft these potions and like you got to go like skin all these animals to make this armor. But that is so much more interesting because it's in a persistent online global world. It makes that's what's it's interesting. The MMO that's part. the only reason any of that stuff was ever interesting to me is because it was in the context of a, a, a basically timeless online shared world with other zero people. Time. Sorry. Uh, there were zero. There was Boo. a lot of time dilemmas. <laughs> wow is not a zero time. To, to, wow is a time dilemma. It's the it singular is. giant time <laughs> dilemma. It sucks all the time. Uh, I loved that game, but it'll never be what it was. You know. Wow, I, wow was responsible for me getting my first girlfriend. Anyway, moving on. Sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Online, she was a mage. I'm kidding. I never had a girlfriend in that like game. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, people. So yeah. Nerd. Uh, you know, Witcher three. Uh, I and I should have maybe. No, I didn't really like The Witcher two uh, either. Um, but you know, I, think I have The Witcher two because it was free one month. I never touched it. Yeah, I, I can't recommend it. It's not a well balanced. I, game. I knew that game. Like I knew because I don't do fantasy games. I knew by looking at it, I wasn't going to be a fan of it. Why exactly did you grab it? I mean, I get that it was it was free, free but because why not? Okay. Oh yeah, don't you, I, I just get all, all the free. Time, yeah. yeah. Any free Xbox or play like time? They're like, I, who, who the fuck knows? Maybe like the line. I Fair bought. Enough. I Fair actually enough. bought this game like a over a year ago. Like I, I you yeah, know, just you just have an ongoing it, yeah. queue, right? Yeah. Oh yes. And then uh, some, you know, one day it strikes your fancy. After you beat a game like Resident Evil Four, and you're looking for a new game. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, I finished RE4, which is a, a game that was actually way longer than I expected. It was like 30 to 40 hours, which if I had known up front, I probably wouldn't have played. Like, I beat the <laughs> first... Uh, I, I, <laughs> God, if I had known that this game would have been so fucking good. This <laughs> is... Uh, yeah. This game, man, holy cow, though. Uh, and when I say if I had known up front I wouldn't have played it, I would have been missing out in, in hindsight because I, I loved this game. I loved... It was fun all the way through. There was only maybe one part where I was like, this fucking bullshit. Like, this is, you know, that I just got really, like, sort of, like, I don't even want to play this right now, frustrated. Was it a boss fight or something? Yeah, it was. It was, there was one towards the end where you're running through a series of, like, suspended cages over a giant thing. And then this guy's in the ceiling, and he jumps down from the ceiling and you can shoot him enough that he'll leave you alone, but you never can actually kill him. It's just stupid. I died like four times. Um, four or five times for it. It wasn't like it was a hard challenge either or an, an even that interesting of a challenge. It, it was stupid. It was just not fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's, like, what blows, obviously blows me away the most about this game is that I cannot even conceive of what it must have been like to play a game like this on the PS2 because... It wasn't dis- fun. No, it uh, like comparatively to like, like the their ports. Honestly, I didn't like it on the PS2 as much. Why? It just felt kind of clunky on the controller. Even still, the, the 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 this game could come out today and it would be a great game. And the fact that it was released on the PS2 just completely stuns me. Uh, the game was just clearly so ahead of its time. The density. It's such a dense game. Um, like every. You know, it's what it's, you know, it's what I like uh, liked about Dark Souls, and I knew that about this game kind of. But in playing it, I totally understand now why people compare it to Dark Souls because it is Dark Souls is Resident Evil. It, it is. It's base. It, it has this this the way the way they use space is very similar. Mm-hmm. But and what I mean by that is just like the way that you check every corner. Uh, the pacing of items is incredible. The the rate at which you get items and use them and need them, it's always it's always you just have the right amount of health. You know, it's something that I I've praised The Last of Us for and before this game. I think maybe The Last of Us probably looked at RE four to get there. The Last there. of Us also was a straight line. It was it was kind of easy for them. Well, to Well, this it game kind of is too. Is it too. is, but like the boss fights and like especially because you can you have some flexibility. There's some branching paths, but yeah. it's mostly straight. It's mostly linear. But so is Dark Souls. Whereas Dark Souls has a very open world feel. Um, it handles it compart the the compartments of areas have a linear progression, even though they're well connected eventually to a coherent world. It's still a pretty linear game in a lot of ways, um, which I think is great and kind of hard, if not impossible, to escape in good design. Like that's another thing about like open world stuff with like The Witcher and Fallout, is it starts to feel pretty arbitrary because they can't design with any real consequence yeah. because it's they can't space control for the space flow. Sake. Yeah, you can't con- when you lose the control of the flow. It's hard to like make us something feel rewarding or productive. Or it just kind of starts to feel like. Well, I could have just done anything here. There was no reason for this to yeah, be there exactly. other than to say that I could walk. Right. Through yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the challenges are so they have to be so loosely designed that they just feel trivial, you know. Um, but yeah, no. This it's you know the the tone, the atmosphere of the game is just some genuine horror. The the it got really it got really crazy. Whereas like it starts out with like there's these like weird insects in a town, and then like cut to like 20 hours later and you're in a castle with like satanists that are chanting and you're just like where the yeah fuck? that game goes balls to the wall it goes all really over fancy, it goes like, all really over hard. but not in a way that feels incoherent or sloppy it has it a just, good build up it feels like a sweeping adventure more so yeah, yeah. It, there there is a the very very good story curve on this game it's in, yeah it's great um so yeah i mean like i loved it the ending that was your one job <laughs> the last uh, part was garbage with the jet ski. I, I, oh, yeah. I died. That was probably the most I died in the entire game. Yeah, that was kind of. Was the escape on the jet ski? What the fuck was that? That was not fun at all. Yeah, that, that was pretty stupid. It was a cool idea, I guess. It's a coolish idea. It sounds cool. 
but like was, when I know cool. it's the last thing I'm doing in the game and it's nothing like the rest of the game and I'm dying all the time, like wh- you're like what? you're just dying. It's just destroying the ending, yeah. the feeling of the ending. Also, this woman's name is Ingrid. That works with you for most of it. Was my wife's name, which is <laughs> fun to see. The new wife. Yeah, how was the wedding? It was fine. This is a video games podcast. (laughs) (laughs) This is the Greg Giles podcast where we talk about Greg Giles. It was great. Uh, So, yeah. Um, I liked it. I don't know. You sound like you've played it, Pat. I don't know. Doug and Kendall, you guys aren't saying much. I've seen somebody play about half of it. I don't know. I think this is one of those games that you can't not at least be familiar with. Yeah, you really. It's been, after playing it, it dawned on me what, how just what a incredibly influential game this was and it's not that scary it's dread there was some real dread i felt like it 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 was like the right kind of horror for me where it's not about like jump scares, jump scares. it's yeah. not about over the top gore it's they slowly spin up a world that just makes you feel bad <laughs> like yeah. in a there's, and it's it's hard a to do couple yeah. different types of horror and this was still I can't remember if this was American. I, I'm not. I'm not sure because this was right around the time that Resident Evil became like it was sent to the American uh, Capcom. Right after it, this, I think I was, it, it must it was be because right, it was right around because like, Resident Evil. Yeah, that would make sense because Resident Evil Five was just an action game. Yeah, exactly. Um, but there is like. There is like Resident Evil Seven did a fairly good job of kind of recreating that where it was just atmospheric as hell. Like it wasn't scary. It was just foreboding, and everything felt heavy. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I still preferred the mind fucks, but and then there's just the straight up gore, which is American horror. Which to me, I just I love horror games and movies, but that like that stuff's just stupid to me. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, uh, low effort. Yeah, it's where Dead Space Three one two, which <laughs> is funny because I was actually was like Dead Space one and two specifically one is literally Resident Evil four in space. But oh like, really? Yeah, it's it's literally the same. You I didn't even that. know. Yeah. Same con- like gameplay. I think it was even at the time it was kind of called that. But like just the the way they designed it, I loved the shit out of Dead Space one and two. Three was fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, I like two. Three I didn't play was one. Bad. One one was 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 good. Three was like it wasn't the same type of game anymore. It was a co op shooter. Yeah. That was it. It, it was like Army it was two. Resident Evil five. It was just an arc yeah. action game. Yeah, it was like, like Army of two point, or something with horror aesthetics. Which isn't scary. Like, oh, he's got spikes out of his head. whoop de doo I have a sh- assault rifle that shoots grenades. Boom. You don't have the head anymore. Mm. Was, that, ga- that game was stupid. I hated the, the first enemy you encountered in that game. I'm like, this is Dead Space. Why do I have people who actually look like humans? Why? And you actually fought people oh, in that on. game? There was a cover system? Like, what is this? Ma- yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? This is Dead Space? Bring it in. I was like, <laughs> bring it in. Yeah, because like Dead Space was like one or two, like specifically. Honestly, I can't even tell. Like, are some of my favorite games yeah. ever? Like, I beat a, the see, first. Those are Dead too Space. scary. I can't play those. I I beat the first Dead Space. I think twelve times. Once you get through like the first, uh, say like few rooms, you sort of get over the fact that they're like these huge hideous mutants coming at you. That and game you just has so many uh, such aggressive jump scares, though. It's jump scares, but they do a good job. Do- Good job. A good job with the design. Like they designed the environment the to look like the enemies and like and vice versa. Yeah, exactly. So like shadows and everything. Because it's on a ship, so everything's like jagged edges and anyway. So it makes sense. And like there's just like bodies everywhere, but some of them will get up. Some yeah, of them you're won't. actually paranoid. like it's like okay, and you don't have enough ammo to shoot everyone, so you just kinda have to walk yeah. past. And yeah. You are made out of wet tissue paper, so you can barely take any hits. Yeah. Like that game was, uh, I won't sure if the first one was survival horror, but it was, it was pretty damn close. Yeah. If you liked four, I would honestly recommend. Yeah, those. played yeah Play like one or two. Both. One and then two and then don't. I played. I've tried two a couple of times. They just can't do it. If you, I would start with one, because it's the combat system is honestly clunkier, and that's for a good reason, because you're just like a dude like walking in a giant suit. Problem is, there's so much horror in the real world right now that, like, <laughs> see, to me, that's just cathartic. Well, see, actually, it was like when I was playing this act, uh, I was in a really tough spot a couple, like a month or two ago. It was just a lot going on, and it was like very hard. And there's something about this game made that better. Like, I felt like it was, uh, I was overcoming like 
hardship. darkness, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 it was a really interesting uh, horror feel. games are amazing for emotional release. Yeah, yeah. that's something I, I, I kind of because you're like, at least it. I'm not this guy <laughs> running yeah, from yeah, exactly. it. Could be worse. Yeah. yeah, I could be like you know in the middle of a Spanish town that literally wants to kill me. I yeah. could be in that dark laundry room. <laughs> I could be there. <laughs> Is there a oh man! Is there a that laundry a, room? Like, I think I know. In uh, Dead Space Two, like that Dead one of the Space first 2. scenes when you only had the plasma cutter, and like the la- you go in the laundry room and the power cuts, and then there's like, uh, I think on certain difficulties, like six or seven necromorphs jump out and they start at the very beginning. It's like near the beginning. I was gonna say, you know, that was a mental asylum, right? Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know. That that. Was <laughs> well, no, not the, um, at the very beginning of a game that came out. That's past statute of limitations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even Kendall's like, though. yeah, that was that. It's like, yeah. you haven't played it, you're probably <laughs> not going to play it. But no, like, that game actually had a fucking awesome, en- like, entry, uh, or sorry, uh, beginning. Yeah. Like, you start the game in a straight jacket, and you just have to run. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. I yeah. Like that and, like, everybody's turning into necromorphs, and, like, they're jumping out of the walls, and it's just fucking go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just don't run. stop. And they're, they're, uh, I think there was honestly more necromorphs at the beginning than, like, showed up continuously through the game. Yeah. Like at least at one time, and you're just like you have no arms. You just got to go. You're in a straitjacket. Mm. Just run, bro. Yeah, uh, it's kind of that it's was a strong like, ga- intro. Yeah, it's kind of like amnesia where it's like you can't defend yourself. You yeah, exactly. Fucking yeah. Leave. <laughs> but the yeah. thing is, I don't necessarily like games like that either. I think if they're done well, they're good, but it's very easily to not do. Yeah, them like well. Alien Isolation did a good job where like you could at least like fend the alien off after a while, even though it kind of became funny because like oh, you always had enough flame flamethrower fuel. Yeah. So they never did it properly. If you don't give the player, I feel like if you don't give the player enough tools to sort of mitigate conflict, like it just becomes well, a running is, simulator. Well, the thing, well, that's tools to mitigate conflict. To yeah. be fair, like, and that's uh, like if you can do it right, that's fine. Like if you can give them the ability to adequately, adequately run away or hide or do something or at least hold them off. Yeah, yeah sure. Like drop a smoke bomb and injure yourself out of there, but. Uh, there, there are some games where it's just like, oh, you can't defend yourself, and that's the horror. Like, no, that's not. That's yeah, you need that's more than that. Not yeah. that. That's not the horror. That's American horror. That's. Uh, I still say Japanese best horror games. Oh yeah, best horror like to, uh, in general like, out there. They get know? a little bit of an advantage because like they have a th- messed up society. <laughs> no, but because just like socially. Well. No, any other no, guesses? I'm, I'm fixing myself there. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> um, no, because, you know, the they build on cultural traditions that are unfamiliar to us, so everything seems somewhat, a little bit more outrageous yeah. than it actually is because it's just unfamiliar. It's alien. St- yeah, yeah and vice versa. It works the other way, too. Um, but in general, they tend to be... I mean, Japanese culture in general, like, often to a fault, like, they will give you so much backstory context... That you're just like, I was really like, I know these people like, better than my I, real yeah, friends. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't get, I don't need to know any of this shit to do what you're asking me to do. Mm-hmm. But that works can be like a, a, you know, obviously it can be a strength. And in the case of their horror, I think it's something that works really it's, well. It's, it's pretty like, solid. They they really like good horror will be. It's like the nuances. It's like a it's like a detail that really puts it over the top. And it's one of the best horror games I ever played. I, it's hard to even say it was a horror game half the time because half the, like it was it was just so heavily atmospheric. But then it would get like the mind fuck horrifying with Silent Hill too. That game was yeah. Oh yeah. Like that game was just like they did such a great job of telling a story without saying a goddamn word. I was looking <laughs> forward to the um the one with the playable cheeser, the one with the, the PT. Yeah, the PT new one. was awesome. Yeah, but freaking Konami Made by Hideo Kojima, <laughs> which is why it was gonna be good. Yeah. yeah, I was looking forward to that. Well, basi- I think, first of all, PT was too dense to ever make into a real game. It never would have been what oh, it Oh, it was absolutely a yeah. cut. Like, to, a, a cut out. Yeah. It was, it was, there was so much going on in that game. To me, it really was a game in and of itself. It was enough of a game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, three, Resident Evil 7 picked up the spirit of it, I think. And I think PT would have looked a lot like yeah. Resident Evil 7. I guess so. Maybe to a like to a point. I won't say it wasn't as combative though. Yeah, oh, probably yeah. less combat, but as far as like uh general gameplay. Just general gameplay and again you, the the density of space and the perspective and the sort of 
Yeah, I would agree with it uh, at least a little bit. I but the thing with uh, Kojima and Del Toro working on it is like the nuances would have been very different, though. Yeah, sure, it would have yeah. been a different game, but uh, but like walking around, car- like perspective wise, yeah, yeah, I would say absolutely that. But you are right, PT was a game, like it was a full game. It was, it was a, a fully full game, realized game, and in it my was opinion. so good. Yeah, and it was awesome. It was so good. And then Allison Road is like, it, it's a game that's been canceled and come back and yeah. canceled, come back, and it's like the same thing. I hope so good. It it looked good. I wish they would just put the demo back up on the store. That's all I want. It'd be cool. I still have mine. I didn't delete it. I still got mine. You're so lucky. Yeah. yeah I saw Quasi was playing Flappy Bird on the plane. I was like, how did you get that? I saw Flappy Bird too. Yeah. Nice. I'm a pro. I never got it. Because you're probably a good human being. Because <laughs> I'm what? A good human being. Yeah. I don't know about that. But yeah, that, that was. Uh, Pour one out for our, our, our fallen <laughs> Fallen uh, game. Moment of silence. So, yeah, yeah Ari's, uh, RE4, incredible game, uh, even today. You have to cut it no slack to enjoy it. It's a great game. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it has aged very well. Yeah. yeah solid design. On that note, it's the FNG's turn. All right, so... The what? Uh, FNG. Fucking new guy. <laughs> uh, never heard FNG. No, but um, <sighs> yeah. So uh, the game I played was Faster Than Light. If Just you could, say FTL, please. Oh, FTL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you could take uh, Star Trek and mix it with uh, Sims and throw in space combat, you would sort of have this game. It's yeah, uh, that's not a bad way to put it. Yeah, yeah it's like a space flight simulator. Uh, it's kind of it's not really story driven. It's more like a random event driven. Each time you go through the game, you'll have a different mix of different events and different places to go to and different enemies to fight, and they lead to completely different outcomes. And I really like that about the game, uh, but I really also don't like that about the game. Um, it, it, it is a really fun game, um, but it's like sometimes uh, you've got to really pray to random number generator Jesus and hope that like you'll be able to make it through or... Something right, like that. Or Jesus. Yeah. You know, R in R- R- Jesus. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. If Pretty you say much. it fully, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> you just R in Jesus. Faster than light and R in a random number generator Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's like sometimes you'll be going through, you'll go strong, you'll, you'll be way stronger than you were in another save game, but some ship will just get yeah, and nine like, lucky hits in a row and annihilate. Yeah, you. That, that does happen. It can be yeah. really hard to get the stuff you need. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, because... As you as you are flying around in the system, the rebel fleet is right on your exactly. feet, on your heels. So any planet you visit, you basically cannot. You can only be moving to the right. So what happens is you get a screen full of planets. You start on the left. You have to go right. But the rebel fleet is advancing. So this giant sphere just starts every time you jump to a new planet. That sphere advances, so it just means that you can basically you can go backwards sometimes, but f- as a general rule, you cannot go backwards, and it can make it really tough to like. It, it basically makes it uh, keeps you from farming anything. Um, yeah, yeah, you pretty much have to touch and go. Yeah, wherever you are, yeah. and if somebody like if you get attacked or like you happen to run into something, that's precious time. Yeah, yeah. and you need to build the way this the game works is you build up. Your ship, you buy better missiles, you buy better lasers, you buy better shields, you buy better engines, you buy, you upgrade, you know, uh, like the security of the ship for people that can, because you can be boarded, which is pretty terrible. And the whole thing is not only to survive, but then at the end, take on the rebel yeah, fleet lead ship, which is, I've never killed. Which, yeah, I've never, it's I insanely hard. I'd be like, there's a. Uh, it's hard to, to even get to it. You really. gotta fight it, I think, I like four did. times. And I've fought it once and one, but like the and second time. It's got time, all the weapons. It yeah. just throws everything at you. It had like, I think, eight or ten drones on at the same time. And I was aiming, I tried to take out its little drone operator, and I got like five misses in a row. And that was the end of my shields, and I, I just lost. imagine that you were sitting in like the crew, the the captain's chair, and you just looked at like the guy, and was just like, "Yeah, what, really? what were you aiming at?" <laughs> yeah, I look back at him, and he's like really, Stevie Mark, Wonder, and I'm like, "This is why." <laughs> he's just smiling. Yeah, exactly. It's he's Stevie Wonder. Like it's great. Like, <laughs> you didn't hit you a single hit time. any of them. 
And We've like, been in 16 <laughs> battles now, and you couldn't figure yeah, it out exactly. at all. And it's the it, the ship is massive. Like, h- how do you miss that many times in a <laughs> you row? You had to hit yeah. something at yeah. least. Yeah, like, anything. you didn't hit the specific. It's part. right there. I can yeah. touch it. Look, I'm touching it. I'm leaning out the window and touching it. Yeah, exactly. There's <laughs> <laughs> tons of those. You'll have many, many depressing moments like that where you just get just you get pooped on. Yeah. You get that's relentlessly pooped on. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> bring it back. It was. I, I was gonna bring that up while the storm, that three day snowstorm was going on. It's getting this. relentlessly, <laughs> yeah. relentlessly pooped on. I feel like there's Watch, um. Listen to Game Club. I feel like there's uh, optimal builds to the game that where you could recognize and start to build if you have the materials, but it, it'll take a lot of playthroughs there's to find a, out. Yeah, there's maybe but, a little too much randomness in this game to yeah. make it fun, but. It's still, I, it's I, still really, it's, yeah. it's, it's, dude, it's still it's really game. fun. I yeah. have, I, I like, I like playing it. It's so fun. It I've played me in the so balls, much of it. I never, yeah. I never got yeah. very far, but it's, it was still fun. What's great about it is that it's incredibly deep, but there's no ramp up time to getting into the mix and playing. Like you're just playing. You're like you start it. a game and you're playing and yeah. it's always, there's always, a you know, there's always more to do. There's always the next step, but it, it's not, you know, there's so much to explore, but it's not like in The Witcher where they just dump you into a giant world. There's just, because it's procedural, there's just a lot of different events that can happen. And you basically move through space the same way each time, more or less. Yeah. But, but the events are random, and they, they there's so many fun surprises in what can happen. There's, like, sub-quests, too, that you can go to, and, like, if you complete, you unlock special ships and things like that for you to go back through and play through. Yeah, and I think that's probably part of how you beat it. And the ships are interesting, because, like, the first one you start out with is, like, a long, like, for lack of a better word, like, hot dog-style ship. But then you can... The next ship it gives you is, like, a donut-style ship, which just completely changes it, because now you can be... Yeah. You know, it changes the way that, basically, if your ship catches on fire, fire can spread in a very damaging way very fast in a way that it can't in the hot dog-style one, where it's got to work its way across. Yeah. But in... That also I works to your advantage. Where hope and pray that these are actually called this hot dog and <laughs> hot dog and, and, uh, and donut. USS hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could probably. I think you can name your ship. You can name your ship. Yeah, there you go. So, but you know, the upside, even though you can burn a, burn up faster, you can also move your guys around faster to switch between manning different stations and stuff like that. So yeah, and that's another cool thing is like, uh, yeah. you know, you p- you get random people with names who like level up and then they can die in all kinds of ways yeah. uh like stories it's emerge <laughs> yeah no but they it is because so many ways. what it means is that you end up getting these stories that if you were to write down the sequence of events on paper you'd have an awesome story yeah. you'd have yeah. star trek you'd yeah. have yeah you'd have a really good star trek episode yeah it, it is very good at generating those like and it then generates we had really Ensign cool Ricky stories over there yeah. yeah who got burned alive yeah. <laughs> yeah he has a wife and two kids there's so much fun hey. sorry i feel like i'm talking about this way more than doug who played it uh, but yeah, yeah. Shut up you're so bringing up talk <laughs> about ftl you're, br- you're bringing so up really Greg. good points uh but yeah he, he said pretty much most of the stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna bring up but uh the only thing other than I, I can say is uh yeah, I, my only complaint is that uh, it's a little too random sometimes, and it doesn't feel like, at times it doesn't feel like I have much control over what's happening to me. And, like, you could always say, like, in hindsight, I could have not chosen that position to go to, but there's no way that I could have known that No, beforehand. there's no way you could have known. Yeah. So, like, you never can really fully regret yeah. a decision because it's not like you had information that yeah, could exactly. helped you with that. Exactly. All you did was go to a planet that happened to be, like, a certain way and it fucked yeah. your shit up or whatever. R and Jesus. Yep, that's. Uh, you mean random, num- ra- random, me. number <laughs> yeah. random number generator Jesus? Random number generator Jesus. Faster than light. It's so much catchier that way. You know, you know, faster than light is the tagline, right? So what you're saying is literally faster than light, faster than light. Like that's the name of the game. Yeah, oh, really. It's FTL hyphen faster than light. Yeah, I didn't so know you're that. You're saying faster than light, faster than light. I didn't know that at all. That's crazy. But uh. Yeah, that's faster than light. <laughs> that's Let's just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, ten bucks on Steam, I think, or around ten bucks. Yeah, it's about. It's that. on uh, iPad. It's yeah. on like it's iOS. On iOS yeah. yeah, it's got. This DLC. game is actually. I play it on iPad. It was actually really good with the touch screen. I bet. Yeah. Because you could just like pop everybody around. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Anybody have anything else to talk about? I'm good. I need. I should. I want to go. I want to stop. 
You I want to it? stop doing this right now. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're doodling. Greg, yeah, I was gonna say, Greg is tired yeah, of doodling. Yeah, you know what's happened? He, he's, <laughs> ran across, he's ran out of space across this page. Yeah, so I he's I'm all so doodled since out. It, we were at yeah. the end, then I got to see what you're yeah, doing. Oh, yeah, let's oh. see what it is. Because you have to show the teacher your work when it's done. I mean, it's just a. They don't see it. Isn't it just terrible? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, you wrote the thing around. How it. would you describe it to our listeners, though? <coughs> oh, reader mail. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> 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 well, first, let me do this. I like I just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the audio is. We'll do that in a second. Hold on. Let me describe this first. Oh, wow. This looks like a grandma got drunk and knitted a really weird carpet. Or yeah, like but she started exactly on one thing. What I was trying to draw. Yeah. <laughs> she started with one pattern, like and then one like pattern <laughs> just went PCP nuts. got involved, and PCP. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I, like, I just said drunk. Oh. You're bringing other things here. Like everybody's grandma does different drugs. Listen, yeah, Doug, that's we the don't point. Bring that in here. You gotta <laughs> distribute this is a clean the uh... show. <laughs> that's like the seventh time you've knocked my charger over. It, it just keeps sliding off. It yeah. keeps sliding this, off because you're holding the cord this, in your hand, this, messing with it. This, this brick it off. is too heavy. It's just it weighs like half a pound. Yeah, man. I don't know why you got a Mac anyway. That that's that's mistake. <laughs> oh, that's, because shit. I'm an artist, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> That's mistake number That's the one. Problem <laughs> here. Why you got a Mac? <laughs> I wouldn't be knocking this off. Yeah, because if you didn't then if I had a, a PC, the brick would be three times the size and it weigh twice really as much. Would. And it'd sink right to the floor. We wouldn't have It to would keep... then just fall like the same thing because that's how gravity yeah. works. Sinking's not the right word. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that was the, yeah. watch, it sank right onto your yeah. lap like that when it <laughs> fell the half a I foot. Mean, it's just I mean, poorly. excuse me, sank it's half a foot. Did you see that anvil fall on that guy? It sank right on it sank right onto his body. It's just poorly designed. That's what that is. Your argument's poorly designed. <laughs> Anyways. Book back. Let, me, let me see this. All right, or like Kendall said, well, I pull out. Uh, Kendall. After I let you come on this show, Doug, Greg, you come into my house. <laughs> Where the fuck your name is. God oh, damn. <sighs> Thanks. It took me three days <laughs> to, to draw it. Both those missiles missed. That like is terrible. That's, that's, what, that's what it is. Like, that was Mark. Both, yeah, exactly. That was Mark missing again. Both of his it? missiles. Oh, Can we yeah. get a third one? Oh, no. It hit he just that quit time. the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just restarted. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> nah. <laughs> For attention's sake. All right, let me TLDR this because cool. he's got a three-paragraph essay here. Dale from Buffalo, New York writes. Dale. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> People like to compare movies and video games in large part because they're both visual mediums. Of course, video games are more directly participatory, whereas movies are generally passive experiences, Rocky Horror Picture Show notwithstanding. Since it represents one of the highest cost forms of entertainment today, it makes highest cost forms of entertainment today, it makes for at least one useful comparison. Attending a first run movie in the US costs an average of eight sixty one, according to Hollywood Reporter. He did research. The average duration of a film shown at the theater is 130 minutes in the U.S. in length, according to Business Insider. That yields he did a, a lot of research. He did a lot of research. He actually did math. <laughs> uh, that yields a per minute cost of seven cents. In comparison, a Besso will run you about eighteen dollars and will take approximately eight to twelve hours to read, depending on a huge number of factors we won't get into here. Books. <laughs> at eight hours, it produces an inter- at eight hours, it produces an entertainment cost of four cents per minute. Okay, I see. Wow. All right. Why is it then that folks are so willing to complain about the cost of video games? This is actually a very interesting question. I feel like I'm back in a statistics class. That Jesus. I actually am very happy that this is what his question turned out to be. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I think that's a. I think that's maybe one of the biggest problems in games right now is that developers a feel the well. Well, Probably like, because it, well, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Like I like TLDR, he's skipping. He's talked about Breath of the Wild a little bit about how it's 60, 80 hours since we actually were talking about that earlier. So that that's nice. Uh, and they're starting to see the flaws and are becoming disappointed. At fifty two dollars for sixty hours of gameplay, it works out to just a penny a minute for all that entertainment. Despite that, pe- folks will complain that the combat isn't as fun after sixty hours as it was at the beginning. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Very, oh, who oh. so that leads me to my question How much fun should a gamer expect to get for his money? Why does it have to be a he, bro? Yeah, <laughs> man, is it fair to judge games that cost nine dollars against games that cost sixty dollars or ninety nine dollars with DLC? 
How can developers level the playing field so that a smaller game can be viewed fairly against the AAA market? Is VR going to help even the playing field? Talk amongst yourselves, dot, 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 Dale. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Very, very good question. I Actually, have answers, I'm very I happy. Right, well, let's start with you. Yeah, one is, uh, so there's a, one, one angle to this is that I think a decent amount of video game consumption is done by younger people who really don't have anything else to do. And that's a huge part of why there's, there's a demand, I guess. See, there seems to be a demand that games are, you know, 40 plus, you know, ideally 80 hours, like, you know, the Witcher kind of scope. It's like a perfect example. Right. Of that. Yeah. Like that's it's, I don't think you can enjoy those games <laughs> unless you have a lot of time and you do not understand that you will die someday. And the, <laughs> I, 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 whoa, I'm not that kidding about that. that. Got really dark, really fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious though. You need that, like, because as you get older, you just start to feel like you're wasting your time when you're playing games. It's something I actively fight in a way I never had to when I was younger. And it seems to be the case for a lot of developers, even a lot of people my age have that. The more you make, issue. the less you play. Well, the more you make, but just as the older you get, there's something like you feel like you're just wasting your time, even if you're not. I don't know. There can, I, it might also be a little bit of cultural conditioning because the wider con, like sort of opinion on video games is that they are a waste of time, that there's definitely some of that lingering in my brain where even though I know they're not, like I still kind of feel like that. Um, the other thing is, like one, I think it's just like younger people, lots of time on their hands to... and. Um, so they demand these, and then they've got nothing else to do but complain when they don't get it. So the other thing is, it's, I mean, it's just some kind of standard. Yeah, it, there's some kind. It's just kind of what it games are right now. So it's hard to break convention uh, in that way. Personally, I think games should would stand to cut three quarters of the content they offer and give me give me a richer experience in a shorter amount of time. I don't understand. That I, I just I really hope that's where games end up. I hope they end up being even for the money. I don't even care about the price of it. I, I would pay the same amount for a shorter, richer experience. I don't need all this like filler. I was gonna go last, but like all of my discussion is just gonna build off of what you just said. So I'm gonna. You are absolutely right, a hundred percent right, and uh, I'm going to continue that further. Which is, if you are like without a job and young, you are in a golden age of being into video games. Video games are so good right now. They're so good yeah. and they're so fucking huge. They're huge. Like, and it's like, oh, we got Fallout, we got No Man's Sky that has what, like, even if, like, it gets repetitive, like, the concept, if you can have a borderline galaxy of shit to go through. And people are going, it gets boring around 80 hours. You got 80 fucking <laughs> hours on there, bro. That is 80 hours of your life. Yeah, found the ceiling, guys. Yeah. It's like, 80 hours. That, 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 oh, oh, I love that so much. Like the Steam reviews of like, oh, around about 120 hours, I got bored of it. Right. Like that concept, like that mentality is like, I don't understand it. Yeah. Like, do you expect a game to give you nonstop? pleasure and excitement and for the joy rest of your for life. the rest of your like, life even though up. you yourself will not be the same person <laughs> yeah the, by the time you're done by the time yeah. you're done like your personality is gonna like how many quick show <laughs> of really hands. good point actually. quick show of hands around the room like how many like things that you liked when you were a kid that you don't like anymore most of yeah. them yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah you change like, like your personality changes your thoughts change your views change like you can't imagine that after a certain amount of time a game that you liked then you're gonna still like now I love Fallout 3. I stopped playing Fallout 4 because I got bored. And it's the same game. Like, it, it's it, it, that concept right there is like, okay, not recognizing that it was you changing and not necessarily the game's fault, but they put the blame on the game because they don't notice the changes of themselves because, I mean, it's them. They don't notice, which, I mean, nobody does until, like, you can look back on it. Two, games are fucking expensive to make, man. Yes. They're expensive to make. Sixty dollars is actually cheap. Sixty dollars is the way that it is because when the first Xbox and PS2 was out, that was right around a good time. The games were just cheap enough, and they could lower the price from the hundred bucks they were before for like the Nintendo cartridges and everything. Or what were they before? Was it ninety? 
I have no idea. That, it, I never heard that, actually. They were very fucking expensive okay. because they were a cartridge. Yeah. They had to pay for the production, but because it was a disc and they could cut down costs, they reduced the price to 60 okay. which is where we still are now. And nice. it went through the whole generation. Yeah, People I was not got, buying st- shit then, yeah. so I don't it, know how much neither. things cost. This was yeah. me learning after the fact. <laughs> but... People got have gotten so used to sixty that that's why DLC exists because they have to comp the cost somehow. Like this shit doesn't just get made. I can't tell you how many times I've had a client or somebody who comes up to me like, "I want to make this model or animation. I got ten bucks for you." And like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are you, like, like, are you serious? Like this just doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. Like the fact, like the I mean, ma- and that's another good thing is like another good point is people don't understand what it takes to make this they stuff. Don't. Even mm-hmm. even I as a professional really don't understand. Like I understand what it takes to make an indie game. I don't know yeah, really I mean, what like it takes to make a AAA. When you production. get marketing and PR and like all yeah. this stuff, yeah, when you actually have a right. company involved. Like people always see Destiny and see like they had one billion dollars to do, and I'm like, at least half of that shit went to marketing. Yeah, yeah. like probably. and er, and then for what the rest of it was paid out straight to uh, Bungie to make, and then people are like they had one like how did they not get their money? It's because Bungie had gotten paid. Yeah, <laughs> like Bungie get like the developer gets paid at the beginning. That's the producer trying to comp the money back mm. at that point because they put one billion dollars down. Was <laughs> <laughs> that like, game that do much? You, do you? No, the, the first one went, first came out. That's how much it cost. Yeah. Uh, like they basically paid for that game to come out. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, and then if you break down like sixty bucks, like how much of the sixty dollars actually goes back to like the developer, the producer? No idea. It, Probably not a lot. Like, Eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, not much. Because the rest of it goes to GameStop. They have to, or wherever the fuck they're selling it on. Then they have to pay the rights to whatever console or whatever they're on, if unless it's on PC. But even so, then they have to pay for Steam to put it on there. Mm-hmm. So then they're comping the cost for that. Like sixty dollars is as close as they can fucking get to making some profit. That's why DLC exists because they have to make it back somehow, and it's a it's a smaller chunk, and they can charge a certain amount for it. And then people yeah. bitch and moan about how they're getting more content for a game that they've gotten hundreds of hours out of. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I can play this game more if I just spend more time? Like, the fact that you spent, let, let's say, like, a game that was on sale on Steam that's normally, like, let's say $30 for a game on Steam. You got 200 hours out of it or what have you. Even a, a smaller amount. Like, the fact that you got 200 hours out of a game... Yeah. For that you paid thirty dollars for, like, just think about that for a second. I like, mean, comp like, those costs. Yeah, I mean, I paid for uh, Firewatch, which was what forty when it came out or something, and yeah, I got three like hours that. out of it, and I'm perfectly fucking happy. That's awesome. that, was yeah. that was an experience. Game. Yeah, that was an experience because like th- people, especially you're absolutely right. Younger, like they deem less on experience and more of quantity. It's so a I'm quantity over quality. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering about the whole um, younger person argument is like, I wonder if, you know, what you're saying, like younger people have more time, but also younger people, you know, especially below like the college age tend to not have jobs. So like, yep. you know, at a some, at some point their parents are going to be like, I don't want to buy you any more video games. You yeah. You get one game a year. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Game and, fucking and so, huge. Yeah. yeah. And so they're, they're just like, Oh, like, Oh, I have to spend my own money and I don't have a job. I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I wonder if it's that sort of like, they're complaining because they don't understand the whole like income. It's thing absolutely on top yeah. of that as well. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's why multiplayer point. games like Call of Duty or like or uh, like Destiny, like games like that, yeah. explode is because you can theoretically play that game indefinitely. Yeah, to yeah, a, to a certain point, yeah, yeah. and it's just like it's you got that you know that fifteen seconds of fun that you're just repeating over and over again. Yep. you can do it with your friends, and you get the feeling of it being different because you're playing it with different people yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. That and then, but then they still bitch and moan that you have to pay five fucking dollars for three more maps <laughs> for a game that you've spent fifty hours on. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fucking infuriating. It I is. hate. Yeah. I hate that comment. You, uh, you, uh, I think I would say like the, um, one of the things that would go for the argument is just that uh, people would sort of see losing ten dollars or fifteen dollars to go to a movie is a lot less than losing sixty dollars up front to play in the game. So like if you look at it in that instant moment and don't look at the long term gratification, you could say, oh this game is so expensive. But mm-hmm. if you look at it economically like the formulas uh our writer well, put out, you can see yeah. absolutely true. Yeah. And the other thing too is like if it, if money really is that big of an issue with you, maybe you don't play like the triple A game the second Get it comes out. Hobby. Like yeah, you exactly. do what I do 
and you play games like three years later when it's a little cheaper. Yeah, that's actually, what I can afford. Right I now. bought Horizon Zero Dawn today, and it's just like, what am I doing? This it's getting so much money. I what? bought that too, and it's sitting on my counter at home. It's in my PS4. I installed it, and I just like. It's not that it's bad. I just starting a game is like, all right, there goes 15 hours of my life. Yeah. For yeah. when I eventually get I around think, to that. I exactly. think with the life thing, too, it's like, because uh, one of the things I noticed, uh, some of my friends on Facebook are like in, in India and doing all this touring and stuff like that or working for some big shot company. And then I think about myself when I go to play the game. I'm like, oh, man, they're out there touring and rock climbing and flying See, planes. See, here the thing is I'm that's like, what they show you. Yeah, you don't know what happens they, in between yeah, those exactly. pictures. Or they're doing the same what shit. What you don't you know are. is that in that picture, he's actually pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just smiling, and you think he's having a great life. And he's a DJ. And but <laughs> but yeah. it's like, it's just like, it's, me. it's just like, instead of thinking e. of, I'm not saying like I envy their lives, but it's like, instead of playing this game, I could be like learning an instrument, or I could be like, uh, yeah. doing something yeah, like that. Yeah, but the thing though. is, yeah. like, uh, the more, like, farther along games get, you're, it becomes less about like uh, how you're just sitting there doing nothing and more of the experience that you're getting out and of it. And here's the other thing. If you were sitting around reading books deeply, mm -hmm. nobody would say shit to you. Yeah. So it's really not any different than yeah. that. It, like, it, I, like, that's this, a cultural signal. On exactly. That one. I could just read a book about space or run out, or I could play a game about space and somebody's like, oh, look, you read a book. Like, good for you. You're so cultured. Even if it's and fiction, it's like, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, you read because books are inherently supposedly educational. We see people reading. Even though books can suck. Dick. And exactly, and it doesn't, and but people, people just, don't even care. But you're like, reading. But you're reading. That's Cause you're great. getting comprehension. Yeah. That's <laughs> like maybe in the third grade. Yeah. When yeah. I yeah. barely could read, any practice was good. But now, like, yeah. who, who cares? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, not say that every book, and I, it, like, books are bad. Like, obviously, it's not the case. But I'm pretty sure if I read Fifty Shades of Fucking Grey or Twilight, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be. <laughs> Making myself become a more comprehensive person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But people exactly. see it as like fifty times better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah and I think those are good points. You know, also as you know, as uh, technology advances, a lot of a lot of uh, user interaction design in the real world is comes out of game design for good reason. So there's a literacy you're gaining in playing games that is extremely practical. That, and people just don't realize this yet, you know, the yeah. same way that reading mm -hmm. increases your verbal literacy and you can become more articulate and capable yeah. in your writing and expressing, S same thing. It's a different age now, and it's the same thing with games. You're going to be more digitally articulate and uh, and productive if you understand these interactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with games becoming, like, almost a, to a standard, like, more and more multiplayer, and just, I can't remember, like... How many games last year came out that were just single player? I can literally think of one. <laughs> but there's there I mean, was at least scroll few. through my game yeah. library. Right, I'm pretty sure there's Quantum Break. That was pretty much it. <laughs> no, like, or tons. Doom. No, that Doom had multiplayer. What triple A games? Like triple A games. Oh, right. yes, yes, yes. Not like yeah. Horizon's yeah. only single player. And Horizon's that just came like out. now. Yeah, and it's I mean they get praise. Zelda. But nobody like but that's it. Like yeah. they don't like they loot like once you've played them that one time, right? Done. Yeah, yeah people, people instantly they play them and then they're like, well, you know, I wish there was multiplayer. And it's like, okay, it's yeah, can, it's can we just kind of like enjoy you appreciate that? And also, and that game with multiplayer would have sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Max Payne 3's multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm a, I don't. I think you should do one or the other. But plenty of games seem to pull off. Both. In some it games, in some cases, that's yeah. A, that's another symptom of what Dale's brought up, where just like other. Not only do they want yeah, like single know, player, all they these want, times yeah. they want single player and multiplayer and co-op yeah. and horde mode. Yeah, like the the last the Last of Us. Honestly, it, it, the from what I hear, the multiplayer is really good, but it, it doesn't need multiplayer at all. No, it doesn't. Yeah, That's how it it's about at all. Yeah, and neither in like Uncharted is the same way. Like it, that, it, 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 multiplayer in Uncharted is really good, but it, it doesn't. It came need it. that came out in the era of you tacked on multiplayer. Like Bioshock was. Like that had multiplayer oh. that was just completely tacked on. Oh. Bioshock had multiplayer. Yeah, Bioshock, yeah. Bioshock too. <laughs> yep. no, it was, I was so good at it too, and it sucked <laughs> so bad. That's always the worst when it you're was, good at yeah, a bad like, game. Yeah, like I'm good at something that's bad. Like I remember having a conversation <laughs> about somebody with somebody once. I think it was my ex freshman year. She was like, "How like wh how does that even work? Like how can you be good at something you don't like?" And like very easily, <laughs> like I can do push ups, I can run. I'm good at it. I fucking hate them. <laughs> I don't do them to be like, I'm having so much fun right now. Like, oh, like that's, that's a good point. It's like, discipline. Yeah. It's hard it, work. Oh, 
another to get good, at good point about <laughs> yeah, to get good at Bioshock <laughs> multiplayer. <laughs> the game thing I was thinking about it too is like uh, th- I think the reason is as we get older, we feel like uh, we're sort of wasting our time. Is like it, it happened to me recently, and I thought about it. I used to play this game Resistance Two online, and I was phenomenal at it. Like on the sixty player maps, I was always like top four, or top three, and I had like so you're actual, a pro. Yeah, I had actual. You're like clans. yeah, I was so good. I got like I was always at the yeah. top. I had actual clans like trying to say, "Hey, come play for us, play for us, play for us." But it's like once I think a few years ago, or uh, I think I think four or six years ago, the server shut down, and I'm like, "Well, I spent maybe 400 hours of my life getting super, super kick ass good at this game, and the servers are down." Now it's a skill that doesn't exist. Yeah, and now, yeah. yeah, I think there was a Markiplier video where he filled up like a bathtub with hot chocolate for Christmas, or whatever, and he specifically says like. I can feel myself getting better at this. <laughs> when the fuck yeah. am I ever going to do this again? Right. Yeah. Uh, opening packets and pouring like That's like w- when wait, yeah. like and wh- when is this going to be better? And while I, I don't regret it, it, it definitely puts uh that Perspective. experience. Yeah, it's cuz it's like now I play League and I play like Overwatch, but I don't want to try to practice and go into grind mode like I did for Resistance 2 cuz I know eventually maybe 10 15 years from now the game won't exist anymore. Uh, and Overwatch like, might yeah. exist forever. No. Yeah. Overwatch <laughs> is it, it, that one's pretty yeah. strong. But I, I just wouldn't necessarily like, go that way. I see way. what you're saying. I definitely yeah. see like what you're saying. Like my platinum, my diamond tier status in League of Legends or Overwatch, eventually it just won't matter. Yeah. It's not like, that you have, you don't have that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not even, None of us definitely I'm not even that. close. No, no, it's it's no. sort of funny. So, you know, my mom for the longest time was like, oh my God, video games are evil. They'll make you violent. They'll rot your brain, blah, 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 blah. And like, no. But, that but, all those uh, things came true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> just the most hideously violent person you've ever met. Um, no, but like, so I really started playing like puzzle games. And as a consequence, I very genuinely love puzzle games and I will play them all day long. Um, you know, but so like when I first started talking to started talking to my mom, I was like, you know what, like I actually really like gaming and I play games and she's like, Oh well, what kind of games do you play? And I'm like, you know, I was showing her a uh, portal and stuff and the games I'm playing right now are puzzle games and you know, she she can accept those because she's like, Oh, well, you know, you're you're like playing brain teasers, you're using your brain, you're not just like sitting there mindlessly. So like, you know, for like an As older application. Yeah. And so she she sees it as that and then like she'll look at something like Call of Duty and she'll be like, oh like you're just learning to shoot people. And it's like To be fair I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is Call of Duty. Yeah. I I, I, I it's hard to argue against her on that Yeah. One. But I mean at the same time, like what you're talking about like digital literacy. Like, you know Yeah, like, exactly. That was that whoever guy was talking, talking about the other um, host. <laughs> the one who doesn't want to be host anymore. <laughs> who likes to doodle things. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, kicking back. you know, I never grew up with consoles, any kind of consoles, you know, using a controller. And, like, you know, I'm, a lot of people that I know, like, they can use a controller and they'll do really well in a game. And I just pick it up and I'm like, I can't look and walk at the same time. <laughs> so, you know, it's yeah. it's a skill. And it's like, you know, maybe some people don't see the broader effects. Like, my mom's like, oh, like, you're using your brain. It you, means you'll be smarter and you'll be able to do things down the road. Like, you know okay, I can use a controller, like, maybe I don't see how this will help me, like, down the road, but, like, it's still it's something important. that you can do. It's a real yeah. skill. Yeah, yeah I, could, I could see that. Like, even though um, if I was going to be, like, a, a drone pilot or some other type of mech pilot, because eventually it, it might happen, you know, yeah. 40 Titanfall, years man. from now. We yeah. might be, I like, mean, Avatar, you know, with the big mech robots and stuff. <laughs> right, mean, well, and that's the thing. It's, like, you have better control over your hands exactly. in that certain situation that I just don't have, you Yeah. Know? It, it's I funny. Can see that. Yeah, it's funny that you bring up. I got two more things to say. Uh, it's funny you bring up your mother. Oh God. Because my mother was the same way. I know my dad listens to this sometimes. <laughs> so, so hey, dad. dad what's <laughs> up? Uh, she would. Don't uh, tell she, mom, she, she. Yeah. She harped on me pretty. I mean, I, but that was like the parenting thing. Yeah. Uh, which I understand. All our parents did, and then when the yeah. new shit comes out, and I'm a parent, I'm gonna tell my I'm kids why they shouldn't be doing thing. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, whatever absolutely. the next thing is. Go out there and be it's somebody. So, uh, yeah. It's not. It's, how it goes. it's not begrudging, yeah. it's how it goes. but yeah. it is amazingly satisfactory when I see her playing games now. Yeah, like <laughs> on her computer, and then uh, like sometimes like uh, when I'm at their house, I've I've set up in the their theater room downstairs. Like she loves Alien, like mm-hmm. the ser- that, that series, and then when Alien: Isolation came out, I'm like, you, you gotta check this shit out. Yeah. And she's sitting behind, like she like she would come down sometimes already just to talk and watch like mm-hmm. whatever the hell I was doing. But Alien, like she got into, like yeah. a, like at one point, like when you hide in the aliens, like basically like smelling right up to where you're hiding, yeah. it tells you to like 
hold your breath by like pulling the triggers and you lean back and she literally did that uh, in her uh, chair. Uh, 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 That's awesome. So it's just like, I told you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I called this! Going going back to digital, digital literacy for a second. So, you know, I'm making this game with a couple of people from the space and it's, you play it literally, if you're playing it on the computer, just the arrow keys. And for all of us who play a bunch of games, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, I hold the forward arrow and I go forward. I hold the forward and the side arrow and I go diagonally. Like, this makes sense. Um, yeah, you don't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, I show it to my mom and she's, you know, pretty decent with her computer and everything. You know, she's figuring out the technology thing. And I go to show her how to play the game and I say, okay, you use the arrow keys, you like hold it down and move forward and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, tapping the arrow key and moving right. like a frame that's forward, like, you know. That's like <laughs> opening a book and being like <laughs> the, 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 yeah. the, the <laughs> instinct's yeah. not, yeah, yeah. the instinct's not like there. The, yeah. That sounds mean, There's but. such a learning curve that like, Basically, you know, if you can't we don't play a think game, about it. Basically, you can't play a game, you're yeah. illiterate. I mean, in a Great way, it, it's, it's <laughs> real. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a different kind of literacy. It's really interesting. Um, it's absolutely true. Yeah, so, you know, like she, she really wants to play my game, but she's just like, I don't understand. Like, you know, and I've, I've showed her, I've like, tried all these different things, but it's, it's really something you don't learn until you've had to do it over and over and over and over again. I had mom play the first level of Halo once. Oh, dear. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did it you record it? It was spectacular. No, I didn't. <laughs> but again, I was just sitting there like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't even remember the other thing I was going to yeah. say. Sorry. No, like the, the other one was way more satisfactory yeah. and funnier. I mean, anybody get, got anything else? Like, very good question. Yeah, that was yeah, very that good was question. Really good question. Uh, I, I'm very glad that you asked that because that was so that was awesome. That's I why really I, liked you, your I don't know. No, Nothing. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> I was gonna say I really liked your uh, research and your like ten. Yeah, you went legit, and bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the yeah, fact yeah. that you even wrote sense as like period zero seven sense like you like properly. Yeah. Like you, yeah, you, he did his homework. Yeah, you did. You did some work. <laughs> Uh, so good for you. And again, excellent question. Yeah. Good discussion, everybody. All right. Yep. Greg's put his, his dueling book. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, so I, need go. Book. I need to go. That's a sign. Well, on that note, thank you for joining us again. If any of this nonsense sounds interesting to you, give us a rating on iTunes or uh, whatever they, you do on SoundCloud. Is it a like or whatever? Uh, review us on iTunes. Uh, give us five stars only. No, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> five stars only. Uh, if you give us uh, less than that, we will find you. There's some rating stuff on SoundCloud. There's that something. Sure whatever it is, hurt. do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and give us the full amount that you can. Just love us. Yeah, tell your friends, your loved ones, and that weird guy who sits next to you on the train. Uh, that's how we grow as the game space and this podcast. Uh, if you're in Buffalo and like to come down and see this place for yourself, we're at the Tri-Main Center Suite 5 or 454. Um, and then we got events coming next next week. We got the Dev Meetup Arcade Night and then obviously... Uh, uh, project Night's next. Or is it Project yeah. Night? Yeah. Project on Arcade. But by the time this comes out, who knows? Yeah, who, who <laughs> knows? But like, we uh, got stuff. Check out the website. See, what, uh, see if anything piques your interest. Thanks for listening, and we will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Yep, Bye. see you. See you, kids. Well, that, that was the most unenthusiastic. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, I guess. Bye.